Okay, finally. Had a bit of a snafu there, but... I feel like playing some Diablo, so hello there. Let's just get right to it. We'll delete this character. I was testing this character out a little bit, but... Okay, Diablo came out in 97. It's my favorite Diablo game compared to 2, if you can believe that. You can play three classes, Warrior, Rogue, and Sorcerer. Um, last time I played this was a few years ago, and I played a rogue. I think this time we'll play a warrior, which is can be a bit of a struggle towards the end, and we'll just name him Ruben. He's got an official name, and it's Aiden from Diablo 3, but I like to pretend that Diablo 3 does not exist, so without further ado, let's just get started. Right. That whole thing earlier made me... It really put me off kilter. I had a whole thing in my head about what to say and stuff. But here we are. I'm really excited to play this again. It's been a few years. Walk over here. Just listen to that music. It's so good. Oh no, the fountain's yellow. Why is the fountain so yellow? I wonder where that could be. Yeah, that whole thing earlier really put me off kilter. Yeesh. I hope the recording is fine, but let's start off by talking to the tavern owner. We're in Tristram right now. The town that's based on its last legs. You can hear it in the music. The music is... This is a very, very nice piece in this game. I forget who the composer is, but... The music in this game, in Tristram... You can really get a sense of this town's based on its last legs. We got a cathedral out in the outskirts of town that we're going to go to in a minute, which is basically overshadowing this entire region. Matt Ullman, that's right. There was one thing with the sound effects I remember from David Brevik's postmortem that uh, they created the sound effects for the skeletons dying by putting like dice in a cup and using that as a sound effect. I thought that was pretty cool. Thank goodness you returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. And there we go, our first task. And yeah, the sound effects in this game is very crisp. It's just so satisfying to listen to. Right, let's start off by talking to some people here. Let's talk to the famous Kane the Elder, a.k.a. Deckard Kane. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh, that's so iconic, that voice. So this guy is a very important character in the Diablo series. He can identify items and such. We'll come to him a lot. Ah, uh, Pepin. I count him as a true friend. Perhaps the closest I have here. He is a bit addled at times, but never a more caring or considerate soul has existed. His knowledge and skills are equal by few, and his door is always open. All right, we'll go to him next then. Goodbye, we'll come back later. What ails you, my friend? Nothing, we have full health. We can receive healing from him by potions. And I forgot, since this game is so old, I can't use the mouse wheel to scroll. I'm sure you can in the mod, Devolution X. And the other one, but... Gotta get used to that. Let's talk to him. Griswold knows as much about the art of war as I do about the art of healing. He is a shrewd merchant, but his work is second to none. Oh, I suppose that may be because he's the only blacksmith left here. Oh, we'll go to him next then. Deckard leads us to Pepin. And Pepin leads us to Griswold. Well, what can I do for you? Another iconic character. I like this guy. I was with Farnham that night that Lazarus led us into the labyrinth. I never saw the Archbishop again. 
and I may not have survived if Farnham was not at my side. A fear that the attack left his soul as crippled as... Well, another did my leg! Oh, I cannot fight this battle for him now. But, oh, what if I could? I'll talk to him next. Farnham is that guy down there that we missed. So Griswold, you can buy weapons, armor. You know, he's a blacksmith, so that makes sense, right? And magical ones. We can't afford any of them because we only have 100 gold. Too bad. We'll come to him a lot. Let's go down here real quick. Downside is that there's no jog button in this game. So we gotta get used to our guy running, walking slowly. Can't a fellow drink in peace? I never know what he's saying there. To this day. I'm sure someone does. Griswold? Good old Griswold. I love him like a brother. We've fought together, you know, back when we... Lazarus. Lazarus. Lazarus! Now this town is done. So basically, the Archbishop's son, not Archbishop's son, the King's son, disappeared into the labyrinth, the cathedral. And the Lazarus, Archbishop Lazarus, gathered some townsfolk to go into the cathedral, and pretty much most of them died, except for Farnham and uh, Griswold. That music is so good. You really get a sense that this town is basically, uh, it's on its last legs. And evil is winning. Jillian the barmaid has talked to her. How may I serve you? My grandmother had a dream that you would come and talk to me. She has visions, you know, and can see into the future. We never meet our grandmother. We'll leave her alone. She's actually not a person we'll come to very often. She doesn't really do anything. If you just want to see dialogue and such. When it comes to quests. Now there's someone over here. Another famous character. Wirt, the peg-legged boy. Psst, over here. So... You can give him gold, and he shows you a very powerful item or a very weak item. It's kind of like a gamble. Actually kind of handy to do every once in a while. Don't trust everything the drunk says. Too many ales have fogged his vision and his good sense. Um, all right then. Goodbye, Wirtz. We'll come back. It sucks that he's so far away. Him and another character. There's one more character we have to talk to, and then we can go into the cathedral and find the source of evil. So I'm playing this game, just the base game without Hellfire, with no mods, no Beelzebub, no Devolution X, um, because I want this game just to be as it was back then. I'm not a... Beelzebub changes a lot, and Devolution X is basically quality of life features and bug fixes, which I would like to use, but I don't want Hellfire attached to... Diablo. For those who don't know, Hellfire is a expansion pack add-on for Diablo that even the creator doesn't like. So I want to play without it, because every time I do play it, I sort of just ignore the Hellfire stuff and just do the base game stuff. I sense a soul in search of answer. This is the witch, Adria. Let's talk to her. Corruption has the strength of deceit, but innocence holds the power of purity. The young woman, Jillian, has a pure heart, placing the needs of her matriarch over her own. She fears me, but it is only because she does not understand me. That's usually how it works. Okay. You can buy mana potions, scroll of town portal, scrolls in general. I think books. She said books, staffs, or staves. I thought she sold books. I think she does sell books. Spell books. We'll be using those every once in a while. And she can recharge stays. We'll leave her alone. I head to the cathedral right now. Yeah, the whole thing earlier really put me off kilter. I had a whole bunch of stuff in my head that I can't even remember right now. The last time I played this was a few years ago. I played a rogue, and that's one of the strongest classes in the game. With a sorcerer being like number one. War is actually kind of a drag towards the end, and we'll see when we get further and further. Wars are naturally good with just melee weapons, rogues with bows and arrows, but hold that thought, there's a 
dying guy here. Let's talk to him. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him. So that our souls may finally rest. This Butcher guy sounds really tough. Killed a whole bunch of people. Your death will be avenged. Okay, before we enter, let's take inventory a little bit. We currently have a short sword, a buckler, a club with a nail embedded in it, 100 gold coins, and we have, we're level one. We have 30 strength, 10 magic, 20 dexterity, 25 vitality, 70 life, 10 mana, seven to our armor class, and that's from our shield, plus three with our shield, so four. Dexterity raises our armor class. It also raises our two hit chance, which is 60%, which is pretty low. And we can do two to six points of damage thanks to our short sword. And we have no resistances to magic, fire, or lightning. And as we level up, we'll focus on whenever I play early on, always dexterity, because you want to hit things in this game. Because this is pretty low. And rogues can get up to 250 dexterity. Warriors can get to 250 strength. And sorcerer, you can probably guess. Let's go ahead and save. And let's enter and our make way through this dangerous cathedral. In a minute, let's go over here first. I like to look at the uh, visuals in this game. We got a cemetery here, and it's bad shape. We got uh, tombstones here crumbled over. No one's taking care of it because this place is, they're probably too scared to even come here. And also, when I tested this game out the other day, I only just noticed this cross here is upside down. That is sacrilege. Okay, let's finally go and see the cathedral. Where the cow does something, maybe. In fact, we haven't even t seen cows. I forgot about that. Let's go over here real quick. Because there's a mausoleum over here, which is kind of important. It'll be revealed later. Right here. We can't enter it right now. We can enter it later. There are the cows. There's three of them. And Hellfire actually has a talking cow, I believe. Around here. That add-on was so weird. Yep. That's the kind of noises cows make. No, oh, he's getting annoyed. I'm clicking on him for a reason. Yep. That's a cow, all right. Here you go. And he has more lines if we keep clicking on this cow. I'm not thirsty. There we go. He's not thirsty. I'm no milkmaid. Marvelous. Let's leave them alone. I don't know who takes care of the cows, but they seem rather healthy. Okay, let's finally go to the cathedral. There's not much to see in this town, but... Except to listen to the music. That music is really, really good. The whole music of this game is really, really good. Let's equip our skill. So warriors get item repair, which isn't... Uh, I never really use it. It doesn't repair your weapons and armor to max durability. It actually lowers the max durability, like 20 would be 16, for example, or however low it gets. Um, rogues get the skill to disarm traps and sorcerers can recharge staves, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's save again. Check our options too. Yep, that's fine. Off we go. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. It has, Ruben. We are in the first level right now. The music is very foreboding. Very evil. And I like how it loaded so quickly, because I remember back in the day, the loading took a little bit, because we played off CDs back then, and it took a while for the voice to come in. All right, let's start exploring. Open the sarcophagus. It's a skeleton. Oh no, how about you? That was a brutal battle, okay. Our first enemy slain. So when I played this pack then, I remember walking in, and our first, my first enemy was a zombie. 
And I remember, because as soon as I killed it, I chopped off its head and made that satisfying sound effect that this skeleton made. And I remember going, whoa, that was cool. My dad was in the room too, and he says, you like that, don't you? That was such a long time ago, and I remember things like that. And also, my stream connection seems to be getting bad. I hope it gets better. I'm seeing red. Ugh. Alright, scavengers. If nothing else, I'll just keep playing. And hopefully I can put my recording um, on YouTube. Fallen Ones. This is not a good day. My stream is not really working out for me today. Like, I'm just really, really red right now. It says unstable. I'll go ahead and save real quick and... Switch over. Oops. All right, let's see if it just gets better. I'm gonna keep playing. It says, uh, unstable right now. I'm not getting any, any drop frames, but I'm getting like red when it comes to the connection, a red line, red, red squiggly line. It's really annoying. I thought I escaped such things. We'll grab this cape, this gold, and we'll slay these skeletons. Ouch. And here's the zombie. These sound effects are so crisp, I love it. This is a really good game. Oh, Twitch, why are you giving me these issues, man? It doesn't like my connection, Twitch does. This happened back in December. Short sword, we're not gonna pick up everything. We'll, come at this. we'll pick up this mace, though. Does one to eight damage. Really low durability, we have a cape. We'll equip it some extra armor. Now we have nine, right? Nine. Perfect. All right. Go. That was a clean kill. Are these fallen ones, these little things here? Not these scavengers. That thing we killed early, I don't know if you saw that. Those things like to disappear, like, they like to run away when you kill enemies in front of them. They're very cowardly little creatures. I may have to stop the stream, honestly, if this keeps up. It's giving me, uh, making me nervous. I'm gonna keep going as long as I can. Pick out this. All in one. Goodbye there. Saber, we'll leave that alone. I only like to pick up magical weapons. Not regular stuff. Because then your inventory would be very, very full. We can only carry so much, as you can see. Uh, streaming is... Twitch doesn't want me to stream. This is what I was worried about. Because this happened back in... We leveled up! This happened back in December with Gothic 1. I just kept getting... Dropped frames out the butt. And now I don't know what's going on because it's saying I'm not getting any dropped frames, but the connection seems to be in the red. It seems to be unstable. Unstable. Are we leveled up? Try on YouTube? I might try on YouTube. It won't be today, though. I may have to start all this over. So, like I said, we're going to pump Dex. And that raised our armor class and our two hit chance. Marvelous. We'll focus on that. Strength for equipment. And... Well, we're gonna level up all this eventually. You can max your stats pretty easily. 
I think I'll give it another 10 minutes. If it doesn't get better, I'll just turn off the stream. Uh, explore much as level 1 as I can. 14 gold. So we got these barrels here. And some of these barrels actually... Let's see what happens. They can explode. Conveniently. Next to that skeleton. That's wonderful. That goes down to level 2. We're not going down there yet. So I like to explore as much level as possible. So that's good. I hope it just fixes itself. Because it says my bit rate is in the red. It's like one long red line. It says unstable next to... Uh, in my window box. I'll just ignore it, I guess. Alright, we got some gold there. Nothing in those barrels. Yeah, those are the skeletons. This said the sound effect guy. Rattled dice in a cup, and that's how you hear that sound effect there. Well, that's good. Maybe it's just an issue on Twitch then. I also forgot to say welcome. Small chest, nothing in there. Nothing in there. And we just circled around. We'll go back here. But yeah, the last time I played this was with the Rogue, and the Rogue is a very powerful, powerful class in this game. She can fire bows and arrows, fire a bow like a machine gun. It's crazy. But she's not as good with melee as the warrior is. The only thing annoying, the only annoying thing with the warrior is that there's enemies that walk as fast as he does away from you. You have to catch up to them while having projectiles fired at you. It's a little annoying, but since I already played a rogue, I'm playing as a warrior, there's nothing in these chests except that. A fair amount of gold there. We need gold in this game. Because we're buying a lot of stuff. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. What the deuce? Just take the durability for that. Alright, this area is clear. One of the things I like to do in these games is just... I like to explore everywhere. And open up every chest and slay every creature. Even on replays. Not here, but... If I was playing on my own, that's what I would do. This warrior is very fearless. This place is scary. This game scared me as a kid. I mean, not today, but back then. It was quite a scary game. It was also an awesome game. This game is actually my preferred game over Diablo 2. Even though Diablo 2 is the, considered the best Diablo game. This one has a better single player experience. It's got a better atmosphere to it. I like the uh, how you manage enemies and tight corridors and such semblance of strategy there. Um, David, the creator, mentioned that he was pretty adamant on having this game be turn-based. It was going to be a turn-based game with action points and stuff, and the team was trying to convince him that this kind of gameplay is better for a game like this. And he said one day he was playing the game, he turned it on at home, walked down the steps to the cathedral, um, killed a zombie or a skeleton, and it immediately clicked for him. And now... And now we got this game we all know and love. Which is probably a good decision. Staff of Charge Bolt. I wonder if I can sell that for a lot of money. We currently have... Oh, a cap. Nice. Well, done for this cap. Which gives us plus 10 to hit points. We'll equip it. Cap of the Fox. Armor 1. Hit points plus 10. Awesome. Also can't use this staff because... Our magic's very, very low. Short staff. We'll grab that. Pushing a mana. We'll organize this a little bit. Oops. Did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. Put this in here. And uh, this can go here. Still says red. What's going on with Twitch? Twitch is weird. Which is very, very weird. Let's not go back there. Let's go up here. Is there a lot of enemies in here? Probably. The more enemies you kill, 
just in case no one's played this before. It'll reveal their, uh... Let's go out here a little bit. It'll reveal their, uh... Immunities and resistances. Which is pretty cool. I think it reveals their hit points, too. I can't remember. I'll be doing this a lot. Telling enemies into, uh... One at a time. It's kind of required for a warrior. No sound effects. They did a good job with the sound effects in this game. It's just satisfying to listen to. They actually... You can actually get a sense of the creature's, like... The whole theme, just by their sound effects. Ah! And voice acting. Voice acting was still kind of new back then, a little bit. We leveled up again! Um, any enemies around? Make sure I'm safe. Now, what should I level, level up next? I guess just, uh... Let's do more decks. I like to put five into, like, everything. I think next we'll do... I don't know. But decks is important. Fortunately for the warrior, he can't get 250 dexterity. Like the rogue can. He's just a big, bulging, muscular guy. Right next to me, I got... Oh, it's green, finally. Okay, it fixed itself. That is reassuring. I almost stopped. I see no magic resistance for these fallen ones. Another cap. We'll take that. We got a dagger. We'll leave that alone. And we got a short bow. We'll leave that alone. The warrior can't fire the bow as well as the rogue can, as I said. Really sucks. And there's nothing else in here. We got a little bit over here we got to explore. We're going to explore as much of each floor as possible. Open up every sarcophagus, every chest, smash every barrel. Look over every nook and cranny because that's just how I play. And also won't stop once we make it to the end at the very bottom of the cathedral. I might play it again, because this game is actually pretty short from what I remember. I might play it again as a rogue, not a sorcerer. Because I'm not much into sorcerer guys. So these games are like... This is like the only hack and slash I like. Really. I like this. I like Torchlight and Torchlight 2. Um... Because they started focusing on more, like, less this atmosphere, less the, uh, this kind of gameplay. You know, the slow, careful gameplay. They focus more on the loot. All this here. Cap of the Fox, Sword of the Plate of the Whale, or whatever. Which is an actual thing in this game. I've always liked more that and less on the loot. And we are done. No, we're not. We got an area over here we haven't explored. Alright. So, 97. Like, games, when you open up a map, it opens up a separate page and interrupts the gameplay. This game doesn't do that. I like that. Ah, a shrine. A religious shrine. With some zombies inside. That's sacrilege. Let's get rid of them. Now, there is one set of zombies in this game we need to avoid. I hope we don't run across them. I think they're on level 3 or level 4. And I'll bring them up if we come across them. If we don't, I'll still bring them up. Because they're the most annoying enemies in the game for a warrior. So, these shrines here... They give you uh, special bonus ups. But they can also hurt you, too. And this one does time cannot diminish the power of steel this one restores all of our durability to max including the ones we haven't equipped and I only know that because I uh, actually have a strategy guide to this game right next to my computer that lists all the shrine effects it's cheating but um I don't care 
Let's go ahead and save. I think we're ready to go to... Level 2. Yeah, let's go to level 2, I guess. Um... On second thought, let's go back to town. It's a bit of a ways. But I gotta store some stuff and... We gotta talk to people about that butcher guy. As well as getting another quest. Let's go ahead and just... Up to town. I like that quick loading, and nobody put this guy to rest. They need to put him in a grave. I mean, we could, but we're busy. Alright, first things first. Let's talk to... Ogden. He's... He seems to be the guy that gives us information. One thing about this game, though, back in the day, is that I wish we could enter these buildings. You can in the mod, Beelzebub, I believe. Uh, not in the base game, and not in the Devolution X mod either. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Thank you. Tell me about the butcher. Yes, Farnham has mumbled something about a hulking brute who wielded a fierce weapon. I believe he called him a butcher. That didn't really tell us much. Let's go to Griswold. Well, what can I do for you? I saw what Farnham calls the butcher as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. He sounds very deadly. Also, it's red again. Darn it. Streaming makes me really nervous now. Let's organize this, and we'll talk to Deckard. How much money do we have? 469 pieces of gold. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I will. Tell me about the Butcher King. It seems King. that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the King's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. That doesn't sound very nice. This Lazarus guy sounds very seedy. I wonder if we're going across him. Let's go ahead and uh, identify these. Spider Staff of Readiness, plus 10 to mana and quick attack. This sounds like it'd be helpful for the sorcerer. Another cap gives us plus 22% to armor. We'll equip that one. That gives us 13 to our armor class, which I rather have over extra health. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. Well, you guys can't catch a break, can you? Your town well is poisoned, you got a butcher killing your townspeople. Yeesh. What'd you do without me? Let's talk to Farnham. Kind of fellow drinking peace? Indeed. Big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stop him. Had to run away. Couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends. Ah! Oh. oh, he's reliving his moment. Sorry to remind you of that. Let's ask me about the poison water supply. Do you drink water? Very helpful. And convenient. Let's leave him alone. We'll talk to Jillian, we'll talk to Wirt, and we'll talk to Adria. Get some more information on these quests we're doing. Good day. How may I serve you? When Farnham said something about a butcher killing people, I immediately discounted it. But since you brought it up, maybe it is true. No faith in the drunk? That makes sense. My grandmother is very weak, and Garda says that we cannot drink the water from the wells. Please, can you do something to help us? I'll do what I can. Let's go see Wirt. 
In Hellfire, there's a jog mod, a jog option to make you run all over the place faster. It's just basically a faster walk animation. But unfortunately, I decided I want to make things hard for myself and play the game the classic way, so you're going to have to deal with it. Psst, over here. So let's go ahead and spend some gold, and I'll show, the, show you this. So that's what it does. When you get higher in level, it, you can get some really powerful stuff from Wirt if you're lucky. But if you don't buy, Over you here. lose the gold. 50 gold. I know more than you think about that grizzly thing. His little friends got a hold of me and managed to get my leg before Griswold pulled me out of that hole. I'll put it bluntly. Kill him before he kills you and adds your corpse to his collection. Good device. For once, I'm with you. My business runs dry, so to speak, if I have no market to sell to. You better find out what is going on, and soon. This kid is, like, not a kid. He's, like, really bossy and demanding. Let's go see Adria real quick, and we'll go back to the cathedral. Also gotta see if I can sell some stuff to Griswold as well. Because I don't think you can sell stuff to Adria, I forget. Pretty sure you can. Also forgot to go to Pepin. I gotta heal up. Save some potions for later for the butcher. You, my friend? There we go. I'm glad he does that for free. We don't have to pay him any money. Alright, Griswold. Well, what can I do for you? Okay, sell this. Sell the cap, sell the mace. Don't need to repair anything. You have anything we could afford though? Doesn't look like it. Fine Cape of Thorns, Bronze Falchion, Falchion, a Dagger of Magic. That's not going to help us too much. Robe of Light, and a Club of Might. Let's leave that alone. Right, let's go to Adria, sell these staves, or these staffs. Still red. I'm glad you guys aren't having issues, because that red makes me nervous, even though red's my favorite color. One of my favorite colors, at least. Alright, Adria. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yes, give me answers to the butcher, Adria. The butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. We're gonna have to kill it. The people of Tristram will die if you cannot restore fresh water to their wells. Know this, demons are at the heart of this matter, but they remain ignorant of what they have spawned. She knows a lot, doesn't she? Okay, we can sell stuff. Let's sell the Scroll of Inferno. Don't need that. We don't need the Staff of Charged Bolts, nor the Spider Staff of Readiness. That gives us about 1,100 gold. And we got a pretty... Uh, put this here. We'll put these here. Organize a little bit. And let's go back to the cathedral and on to level 2. We're currently level 3 right now. A little bit of a ways before level 4. And we're doing fine. We can do with a higher to hit chance, but I think we'll raise our strength next. He should keep an eye on her. So I think she's going to be prevalent in the third game. In regards to her and the warrior guy. At least for now, she's very, very helpful. I like how quick that is. I just remember back when I played this as a kid. The loading took a while. Not like five minutes or anything like that, but it wasn't instantaneous the way it was. The last time I played this, it was before, right before GOG released it on their storefront. And I installed this game through CD, and the game was crashing on me randomly. Hopefully it won't happen here. I mean, I think they boosted it up for modern systems. Because it runs very... Oh, another stairway down to level 3 if we want to go down there right away. We're not going to, though. We're going to smash open these barrels. Kill that... Uh, well, it's already dead. Destroy that skeleton. How about that? Got 19 gold. Got a fair amount of gold now more gold here. The lower we get into these 
The lower we get into the cathedral, the more gold we get. 21, that's a fair amount. 11. Carver, that's another tier of fallen ones. And they're just as cowardly as the fallen ones. They're all cowardly. I was hoping for armor to drop in those barrels. More carvers. Okay, this leads to a dark passage. We can go in there now. Or we can wait. I think we're going to wait. Because that leads somewhere. Or a quest. Devil Kin, another tier of Fallen Ones. Just as cowardly as the rest. There's not a whole lot of guys in here. It gets pretty crazy the further you get along into the labyrinth. There's one mode, you can, not mode, but some people play this game. When they enter the cathedral, they don't go back. They try to go as far as they can without going back to town. And that sounds tough. I'm not doing that. Town's there for a reason. Also, I should have bought a uh, town portal scroll, I forgot. So I have to walk all the way back up. These guys really like to run. There we go. We're not going to open that door yet. We all know what's in there. Scroll of Inferno. We don't need that. Hopefully we'll find a town portal scroll down here. I'm tired of fighting these things. I want to fight something more uh, my size. Feels like I'm kicking dogs. Satisfying sound effects, though. I like how they... You know, made different sound of, uh, death sounds. For some enemies, so it's not repetitive. Ah, we got hit by a trap. Rogues can disarm traps, as I said. It's actually a pretty handy skill. Probably the only helpful skill... One of the classes have. Oh, we got our first unique enemy. Puke Rat the Unclean. That sounds... He sounds disgusting. Yeesh. Let's take care of his minions first, or rather, I guess we'll take care of him. He's probably easy. There we go, we leveled up too. He dropped a Book of Healing. Those unique enemies drop some special stuff. Unique items. In our case, a spell book. Every time we kill them. Guaranteed. Let's go ahead and pump up, uh... I don't know. This requires 17 magic. I like to put all five in like one stat, so I guess we'll just raise uh, strength. Boom. I'm not much of a min-maxer in this game. I always sort of play how I want to play. And I always make it to the end anyways. This is not too difficult of a game. We got rags, and what do you know? It looks like rags. It looks like crap. Look at it. Ugh, just throw that away. Nothing in the sarcophagus. And like I said, we're not going to enter that room just yet. But enough strength to get... To get... Uh, to be able to use weapons and armor. Because plate armor requires a lot of strength. Hello, skeleton. I got you. Forgot to say that. A lot of skeletons. Shoot. It really sounds like Blade hitting a shield there. I just can't get over the sound effects. They're very, very crisp. So we're hurt a little bit. So let's go ahead and use... After we kill these guys. Get back here. Potion of Mana will take that. We'll use a scroll of healing. You don't want to use those in battle though. Because you'll probably get hit, and I think you lose the uh, scroll and the effect if you get hit. Better to use potions when you're fighting someone, and scrolls when you're out of the way. i go ahead and save, why not? It's too bad I can't make multiple saves. And name them. Okay, we're doing well so far. 
but this is the easiest part of the game anyways. A rejuvenation potion. Those potions here restore both mana and health. We'll keep those. Just a regular bow. I'm not grabbing those. They're not really worth grabbing. I only like grabbing natural stuff. Yeah, my bit rate's still red. It makes me nervous when I see that. It's like Twitch doesn't want me to stream. It doesn't they don't want to walk me back? It's a bit of anxiety trying to stream when I get stuff like that happening. Hopefully, we'll be better Thursday. If nothing else, I'm recording while I'm doing this, so I can always just edit that and put it on YouTube. And we picked up a small axe. Pretty cool. Right, let's go this way. We're not going to go into the butcher's room just yet. That is the fear of the butchers. This butcher speaking. He's a scary guy. He scared the crap out of me back then. He's still pretty scary now. Basically the ender of new players. But now I know to level up a little bit, get some better weapons, armor, and then we can tackle him. Got these darn carvers. So many of them. Well, not so many. Just a little bit. Skeletons. They're immune to magic. But they're weak to a certain spell that we haven't found yet. In fact, I'm hoping to find some more shrines. We haven't even found a, a library yet. To get some spell books. Despite the fact that we're at war, we can still cast uh, magical spells. Provided we have the required magic. It's also a decapitated body here. And he has gold. 18 pieces of gold. We'll take that. Go ahead and save. Anything up here? Nope. Nothing up there at all. Didn't mean to open that. <clears throat> Anything in this small chest? No, nothing in there. Oh, that's a bunch. Bunch of dudes here. How about you? These guys are really falling before our might, aren't they? It's a little annoying when they run away, but it gets much more annoying later on. Because at least you can catch up to these guys. And also we leveled up. What should we raise next? Maybe magic? Vitality we can hold off for a little while. Ooh, I guess uh, let's put some into magic. And then next we'll do dex. I think strength dex mostly. And magic can be a kind of an afterthought. I always like putting all five points into uh, per level up. That's just how I play. Eventually I max out everything anyways. There's a way to do that that I won't spoil. Also we got hit by uh, an arrow. Because I was too lazy to move. Okay, no dudes here. No monsters, no demons, no nothing. Just fallen ones in here. That have one to two hit points. That's not a whole lot. I also have an abandoned shrine. If I remember correctly, that raises a stat. What stat does that raise? It raises... If I can find it. The hands of men may be guided by fate. It raises our dexterity by, by two points. I love those, uh, I love those shrines. That's going to be helpful. Now we have 66% to hit, 66% to hit chance. Let's go up here. I think we're almost close to explore most of this level. We got a blade. Actually, a pretty decent blade. Three to eight. We'll equip that and get rid of this. Actually, we'll keep that since it's ours anyways. Now we have a proper sword. It does 4 to 9. We can do 4 to 9 damage. That would be very handy to face off against the Butcher. Let's play it safe and just sit here. That way we can fight one enemy one at a time. 
month. The only thing is you can't close doors if you uh, kill enemies in doorways. Come on. Go. Let's go in. Ah, that's you. All of you. Filthy demons. I'm bothering the town of Tristram. I got some potions. We got a lot of potions. Shoot. Got a whole tool belt worth. Ah, treasure room. Just a regular cap. We got... Oh, town portal scroll. Finally. Excellent. And I gotta remember to buy another one when we go up to Tristram. Thankfully, we can cast that without any requirements of magic. Be sure to save often. You never know you might when you might die. Full healing potion, we'll take that. Basically for the war, I just always carry healing potions. Not much mana potions. Not on my tool belt at least, just in the backpack. Uh, we'll go down there in a minute. Let's go up here. Nothing up here. Nothing at all. Shoot. Skeletons in there. Ah, oh, library, finally. Let's go down here first. And there's nothing in here. Just got skeletons in here. How about you? Right. Oh, there. Camping out, huh? And this isn't a library. It's just a... Enemy encampment. We got a scroll of healing. And we got a... Scroll of town portal. Alright, we got two. Excellent. That's going to be helpful. We don't have to buy one. And also, there's no difficulty settings in the base game. Just in Hellfire. Handy if you want to reach, like, the max level. Because you're not going to be able to reach max level in the base game. The highest you can get is around 30. You can still gain experience, but it's like diminishing returns. Also, there's a lot of skeletons here. Let's go up this way and just fight here. Like the 300 Spartans. Except not as many enemies. One. Got like 50 skeletons already. These axe skeletons. These animations still hold up too. Bone Ripper. Oh, he took a lot of damage there. Excellent. That was easy. There is an adventure behind every corner. And by adventure, lots of enemies to slay. Lots of demons and skeletons. Still can't use this healing uh, book. I'll probably put two points into magic. Once we level up to level 6. A uh, stray skeleton. A cowardly one. He didn't even join his brothers. Scroll of Inferno. Firewall. Um, staff. That we can't use. Firewall is a good spell. In this game. It's a fun spell. These darn things. Ah. Uh, sometimes I think maybe I should play a rogue. But I already played a rogue, so next playthrough. I think I'm going to want to do another playthrough after we're done with uh, our warrior guy. They actually have canonical names. I know some of you probably already played. At least the first three Diablo games, but I kind of don't want to... I don't want to think about Diablo 3 right now, so I'm using a different name. All right, we got a cape, which is weaker than Arza by a little bit. We can't uh, seal up. We can't identify it because uh, we don't have enough. We don't have any identify scrolls, darn it. Let's just put this here, I guess. There we go. Let's go and save. And I think we explored everywhere. I hope so. Twitch, stop being red. Put the bit rate in the green, please. The 
It could be on my end, I don't know. It probably is. Because I got someone in the house connected to work. Right now. Um, through like some sort of VPN. But I don't think it uses my entire internet for that. I gotta ask. Okay, we're not gonna go for the butcher right now. We're gonna go to that dark passage first. And I may have to go back to town actually first before doing that. Oh, actually. There's an area here we didn't explore. Just enemies. Let's just get in the middle like an idiot. Alright, that's it, right? I wish you could move the map. I don't think you can. Yeah, we can. The arrow keys. Alright. Alright, good. Let's go to the Dark Passage. We'll cast a Town Portal Scroll. Go back to town. Um, heal up a little bit. And check our stats. We're close to level 6. Let's go ahead and... Go home a little bit. Uh, so the only thing that sucks about that loading screen is that you can't... You can only see like a glimpse of the loading screen. Curse of playing on modern systems nowadays. Alright, let's go to Kane. Identify. Identify our stuff. That I choose yellow for the town well. It's gross. Hello, my friend. Okay. Stay a while and listen. That's not very helpful there. Adds two points of damage, acts of quality. We'll go ahead and sell those. Well, what can I do for Griswold. you? Griswold. Have this, have this, and the short sword. Let's repair our stuff. Repair all this. And what can we buy? Bow of many? High durability. Club of Might, Bow of Skill. That'd be good for the Rogue Blue Armor. Um, plus 16% Lightning and extra armor. Let's just uh, go ahead and buy that. Alright, we got some decent armor already. That'll give us 22 to armor class. Awesome. Oh, what can I do for you? So that cape. And organize these a little bit. This will do this. I should probably uh, dump some of these. I don't really need any of them. Most of them, I mean. I don't know why I picked that scroll of Inferno. I just sold that. Let's go to Adria real quick. We got one more town scroll, town portal scroll, so we don't have to buy another one right now. I also forgot to heal at Pepin, but I'm not going to go back to heal just like four points of health. And here she is. I sense a soul in search of answers. Why do you have to be so far away, Adria? You and Wirt. Hey. Okay. All that. All right. All right. Let's go. I could probably drop those mana potions for now. And I like to drop them over here. Dump these real quick. Don't really need these right now. Don't need that rejuvenation potion. Take this, and we'll drop the. Uh, Book as well. That way we have some extra space. Let's go back to the cathedral. Into the dark passage. See what's in here. There's carvers. Ah, that's you. Little cave system. We got a new environment here. Why are you running? Why are you running? There we go. These cowardly creatures. Got a robe there, we don't need that. We got some good armor. Now where are we exactly? Poison water supply. Is what it says. We got a new enemy, a goat. Flesh clan.
the way they die is like uh, that guttural groaning sound. All right, that's all of them here. I think next we'll put two here so we can use that book and the rest in decks. There we go. Perfect. We are climbing. We're level six already. Listen to that music. This game has such a good soundtrack. Hey, Joblet. D1 is the best. I like this game over Diablo 2, even though Diablo 2 is still a great game. It has that perfect gothic horror atmosphere. And the mods keep it alive, too. In the future, though, I'll probably play Devolution X on a replay. Ow. That really took a bit of my health. No, it doesn't. This is the best. Uh, this is like top, like number one. Definitely a foreboding or claustrophobic game. You feel all alone here in this cathedral. It's just us against so many enemies. Okay, we're not going to run in there. Yeah, a lot of little critters. I think we're ready to go in. Why are you running? Little cowards. They're not like the cowardly goblin I fought in Gothic 3. That goblin was very brave. Alright, we got an archer over there. We're gonna go right after him. We're gonna heal too. Back here. See how they run? Went away from you. Alright. Last one. There we go. They had to use yellow for the water. It's really... Really gross. We don't need that. Anyways, we cleared the... Cleared this. This area. And we are done. So let's go to... I guess we'll finally go to the butcher and take care of him. I'm glad we got that quest too. I was hoping to get the butcher in this playthrough. Because it didn't pop up for me when I tested this game out a few days ago. Or yesterday, rather. Back to level two. Zedless. Welcome. The name Zed reminds me of that monster, a character in Wild Arms. All right. Just right around this corner, and we should probably save. Right here, and you ready for this? One, two, Three. Ah, fresh meat. Oh, God. I'm getting PTSD from this. How about you? Can't even hit it. If I die, I'm gonna be the... I'm gonna freak. He really hammers the durability, too. On. I think I'm close. Ooh. The spirits of the dead are now avenged. There we go. Yeesh. We'll take his cleaver. Now you stay dead. He killed me a lot back in the day. This this guy, and. He still ate through our healing potions. So Beelzebub, actually he doesn't pop up in this room with the Beelzebub mod. You go in here and you have to do something and it opens up a portal to his actual realm. Which was supposed to be like, that was supposed to be the intended way to meet the Butcher, but they cut that out. But someone said that's just a happy accident because they prefer the Butcher to just come at you like this. So I was disappointed when I saw they actually restored that. Yeah, he really... 
went to town. This is a very, very brutal room. Very, very gory. This game's very gory. Yeesh. Just body parts everywhere. Entrails, intestines. Ugh. How can he not throw up at, from seeing this? Even though he is a trained warrior. Alright, let's go to where the stairs going down is. Because now we're ready to go to level 3 after going back to town. Ah, oh, fresh meat. Alright, let's go back. This is actually the first multiplayer game I played. I played this game right, right before we were both going to enter, go to high school. This is the first multiplayer game I played with a friend. And it was a cheater's haven. This, the game had no protection wise at all, being one of the few multiplayer games back in the day. So people were duping things, using trainers to hack and all that. It was... It was a madhouse. So basically we would just play together. And not use so many cheats. Like there was a program that... It's, this game is worth skipping school for. This It's addicting. This, is a, this was an addicting game. Alright, let's talk to Pepin. He tells us about... What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. I hope so. A mere presence, you said? I uh, don't think just the mere presence. I think we're just sparing him the details. Let's heal up, though. What ails you, my friend? There we go. 80 health. 80 life, rather. Let's go ahead and identify these. We got some Hello, items. Friend. Stay a while and listen. So these unique items here show up in gold. And this one, the Ring of Truth... Plus 10 to hit points, minus 1 damage from enemies, and resist all 10%. Now we got some resistances. We also got the Butcher's Cleaver, gives us plus 10 to strength, unusual item damage, and altered durability. We actually might go ahead and equip this. Put our sword there, our shield there. This is actually a pretty handy weapon at the beginning of the game, from what I remember. We can do a lot of damage with it. 6 to 26 versus our 5 to 10. We'll go ahead and uh, equip that. We're going to sell the mace. We're keeping the sword and shield just in case. Whoa, what can I do for you? And we can't buy anything. We can pair things though. We'll repair all of this. We'll go to Adria, buy a town portal scroll. Got to walk all the way there. And onwards to level 3. I was going to say 4, but we're on level 2 right now. This game has really good animations, too. This game blew my mind back in the day. It was amazing. Very amazing game. I sense a soul in search of answers. What am I doing here? Take that, and that's basically all our gold. Yeesh. We got 84 gold left. Well, that's okay. We'll find more. We will find more. That's a nice looking axe too. Looks deadly. I mean, looks nothing like the beecher the butcher's the beechers. The butcher's cleaver. And now we got our first spell. A healing spell. 17 mana. We'll heal our health. That's pretty much all our mana too. Yeesh. Let's take some uh potions with us. And that I'll do it. We'll go ahead and take this too. Put this here, and uh, put this here, dump this, save, and off we go. It's level three. Okay, hopefully those enemies don't pop up here that I talked about, because if they do, I'll have to restart. 43 gold, that's a bit. Anything in here? Didn't mean to shut that. Archers! Corpse bows. Oh, that's a lot. Eesh. This weapon's pretty fast, too. 
Also, these things can regenerate the little animation they made. This is like the uh, signal for that. Take out these archers. We're gonna take a bit of damage because we're not wearing a shield. We got a long sword though. That's two to ten. That's better than our blade, I believe. Also looks just like the long sword on his uh, sprite when we equip it. Burning dead captain. I'm glad that explosion didn't kill us. And we leveled up. Nice. It's a powerful axe, eh? I think they'd be afraid. If they weren't afraid before, they would be now because we're carrying the butcher's cleaver. Alright, what can we level up? I guess we'll just do dex again. Oh, we got 70%. We're getting better on two hit chance. We'll do strength next. Whoa, okay, we got these hidden monsters here. They can hide in the shadows, as you can see. Really, really cool creatures. I like their designs. I like how their head cut off when we slice that way. Oh, that was close. Leather armor, we don't need that, I don't think. How much armor does that give us? 10? Okay, what we're wearing is better, so... Sometimes it's okay to wear regular stuff. Okay, nothing else in here. Let's go this way. See if we're going to run across any stray monsters. Stray demons. The sanctity of this place has been foul. This place is... so confining. It's like we're in hell. Or almost, rather. Ah. Uh, I ate, I drank two by accident. My, I fat fingered that. Darn it. Wasted two he uh, full healing potions. Oh well. Oh, archers, my favorite enemies. At you. I think those enemies I was talking about that I don't want to encounter are level four. Very, very annoying. But at least we got a full healing potion back. We don't need that long bow. I don't want to pick that up. Hiddens! How about you? He's running away. I don't think so. Get back here. Let's test out that spell. Feels a fair bit, too. Oh, those potions don't heal much, do they? Just partial. It's like a percentage. A Falchion will protect, uh, pick that up. Falchion. Holy Bolt Spellbook. We can't use that yet. Those are very, very good against Undead. Scroll of Inferno. We don't need that. Current level 7. We're moving up there. Oh, let's go north. I guess that's north. That's a lot of enemies. Let's just wait for them here. Come on, don't be sure. I got a unique one here. Gut shank the something. I missed it. This axe is ver uh, serving us well, guys. On them all in one hit. Gut shank the quick. Um, he wasn't so quick there, was he? Okay. Got a magical small shield. That's good. A falchion, a falchion. However your pronunciation. Some gold. Almost a thousand. in there. 
Oh, hello there. Skullfire. There's been a lot of unique enemies lately. There go. He dropped an axe. If nothing else, those will give us some extra money. Nobody in here, just a skeleton captain dude. Archers, yeesh. Too much baggage. Really? Um let's do this. Move these here. We should probably go back to town in a minute. And haul all our stuff. That is a lot of dudes. Let's go around this corner. This is basically the strategy for a warrior. Run away and fight on your terms. We leveled up. Nice. We'll do strength, I think. Actually, let's do... Let's kill that first. One, two, three, and boom, boom. There we go. That way we can use the Holy Bolts spell book, which does 17 to 26 points of damage for only 7 mana. Over there. I better go back to town. El Chupacabras. That's a good name. He dropped a ring. I better go back to town and um, repair my stuff. Butcher's Cleaver only has so much uh, durability. A unique ring. Hope it's not cursed. Um, let's just keep going for now. Fill up a little bit. Save. Use our holy bolt spell. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. I always say mana. I say either or. I say mana, mana. Depends on what my brain wants to say. Okay. Stone curse scroll. Can't use that. It requires 33 magic. I don't need it. Mm. Let's continue onwards. We got four dirt, but I gotta be careful. I don't want to lose this axe. I think we'll go head back to town right now here. So off we go. Alright, off to Ada. First, buy ourselves a town portal scroll. So that, that way, I don't forget. I sense a soul in search of answers. Take that. Thank you. I sell anything? I have nothing to sell. It's too bad. You think she'd be able to restore our mana, our mana, but she does not. We're gonna have to do it this way. I'm not gonna use that spell too much. Pepin, heal me. I'm right here. What ails you, my friend? And Kane. I got some magical items Hello, for you to identify. Friend. Stay a while and listen. Alright, what do we got here? We got a lot of axes. Axe of skill? Plus eight to dex. Axe of skull uh axe of skill. Two axes of skill. That's kinda funny. Does that usually happen? I don't think that ever happens that much. Red small shield, armor four, thirteen resist fire, and a sword of might, plus eight to strength. Maybe I should just go back to using a sword and a shield. Seven to twenty-seven, seven to eleven. Go back to a sword and shield, then I guess. And the long sword is better than the Falchion, despite the fact. Well, actually, no. Because we can do more minimum damage with this. Not like it's a big deal. We'll use the long sword just because long swords are cool. Alright, Griswold. 
I got some stuff to sell. Wow, what can I do for you? You can have that. Um, that, that. Constricting ring maxes out resistances, but we constantly lose hit points. Hmm. Wow, what can I do for you? We're gonna sell that. I don't think that's gonna be helpful, but we got a lot of gold now. As you can see, we can only carry like 5k per stack. Mods fix that. We're gonna keep the axe. We're gonna oh, repair it. What can I do for you? Go. And the more unique an item, the more it costs to repair, naturally. Uh let's put this here, I guess. Like that. Let's go back into the cathedral. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's th dump this here, and we'll dump our gold here. I know I could have gone back to Griswold and see what kind of stuff he has for sale, but sale. But we'll come back later. All right, onwards. Oh, skeleton, that's you. I think the... I was gonna say blocking would be helpful, but we just got hit. You're basically gonna want to shield at the end of the game anyways. If we happen to run across a really dangerous enemy, we can always go back and get the axe. I'm sure we'll be fine. That was, uh, I forget what those things are called. Yeesh. We are getting hit. That was a guttural sound he made. It's so satisfying. It's very satisfying killing these enemies. We're clearing out each level one by one. Hello, skeletons. I got you. Let's heal. Get hit pretty bad. Need more armor? Plague eaters. Yeesh. Still red. The bitrate's still red, but you guys aren't having problems, so I guess I won't worry about it. Get back here, Carver. Shadow Beast. Okay. The name reminds me of the Shadow Beast in Gothic 1 and 2 and 3. And uh, Forsaken Gods and Arcania, I guess. Maybe they're miniature versions? No, I'm just kidding. Stop that. That hurts. Ah, magical blade. We'll take that. We can't identify it. We'll put it here. No. Oh. You can take a break in a minute. Okay. I don't know if there's any quests on level 3 to find. But we'll see. I think it's just enemies. If I remember correctly, there's a quest on this level by someone. But if we don't run across him, then it didn't pop up. Because the quests in this game, just in case no one's ever played this game, um, they're randomized per playthrough. Sometimes you get the butcher, sometimes you won't. Or rather, they swap. Like, if you get one quest, you won't get the other. I forgot the exact details. There's one really nice quest I'd like to get towards the end of the game. But for me, that hardly ever pops for me. 
Oh, you can play three times in a row and not get a certain quest. Hello, skeletons. How about you? A lot of skeletons. Scimitar, we don't need that. We're gonna hit from the back. Almost. Make that. We should probably go ahead and raise vitality too every once in a while. Keep forgetting. Book of Healing. So we can use that actually. That raises our healing spell to level 2. And I think the max is 16 per spell. Hard to max out spells with the warrior because his magic only goes up to 50 if I remember correctly. Sorcerer is the way to go if you want to cast a lot of magic, but not me. Being a mage is not my thing, a pure one, I mean. But rogues make pretty good uh, mage archers in this game. But we'll be using plenty of magic in, um, even as a warrior. Right, let's go down here. And hopefully these barrels won't explode. That one exploded. That one had a skeleton. And we leveled up. Nice. Get these things out. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of hiddens. A unique one, too. Alright, I'm gonna get trapped if I go in that corner. Let's go this way. I do not want to get trapped. We'll slay these creatures and we'll level up. We'll distribute our points, I mean. Warp Skull. That. So the minions are stronger, I think, if there's a unique enemy nearby. Let's go ahead and take him out. Or not. Lose some health. Ah. Hit the wrong button. I think that was a healing scroll, wasn't it? Back here. Smart leading us to uh, more enemies to attack us. Things are getting a little hairy. Yeesh, come on. Not doing any damage to these things. I should probably grab myself a blunt weapon. I think that's better towards skeletons. I don't know. I never bother. I always use swords in this game. There we go. Get back here. Come on. How about you? There we go. A unique Falcon. We'll take that. Falchion. Falchion. I'm just going to say Falky. Oh, that's a nice looking unique one. That looks cool. I don't think I ever saw that before. 60 durability. We can't uh, identify it though. That sucks. Let's go ahead and distribute our points. We got... Uh, shoot. What should we raise? I guess we'll do... Boom, and put some in Vitality, just because. And then next we'll put it into uh, Dexterity. We're 20 points away from maxing it out. We need a lot of two-hit chance, but we're doing fine so far. Put this here, and this here, and we'll save. Got a cape there, we pick some gold. There were a lot of enemies here, and it gets really hairy later on for a warrior. There's enemies everywhere. Get 
Get back here, you. I got you. So just in case no one's played this before, you can hold down shift and it makes you attack while locked in place. Really handy. Got a dagger there. Not gonna pick that up. Anything here? No? No enemies? Empty. Treasure room. Get some gold. Got just some regular weapons and shield there. Oh, do we miss anything? I think we're good. Yeah, this level's clear. We are tracking. And that NPC didn't pop up in this level. That's too bad. I think if you get the Butcher quest, you don't get this quest on this level, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time since I played this game. I don't know it inside out. Alright, to go down or to go back to town? I guess we'll go back to town. I have a habit of doing that after clearing a level. So let's go back to Adria and go buy ourselves a town portal scroll so I don't forget. Then we'll identify stuff with Kane. I actually have two copies of this game. I sense a soul in search of answers. Because I bought this game when it came out. It was one of the few computer games I played uh, next to Ultima. And a teenager. I actually didn't have my own copy of Diablo 2, I don't think. I played it at a friend's house. And I bought the battle chest. And that came with another copy of the first Diablo game, I believe. So I got like two copies of this game. And I installed the copy of this game before GOG released it on their storefront. And it kept crashing on me, like, randomly. Like, out of nowhere. But I managed to finish the game all the way through. But this game is very, very satisfying and comfy to play. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I come to it more than Diablo 2. Alright, the Executioner's Blade. Plus 150% to damage. Minus 10 to hit points. Minus 10% to light radius and high durability. That's not that's not too bad. Those disadvantages, is it? Let's see how much damage it does. That's a lot of damage. We'll go ahead and use that. Um, hopefully it won't make us uh, won't make the labyrinth too dark, the cathedral. What ails you, my friend? I'll heal up. I'll put this here. We also have Blade of the Sky. That raises all our stats by plus three. Not, uh... I think we'll use this for a while. I've never seen that blade before. There's one sword in this game that never drops for me. All the times I played it, the Grandfather's Sword. I think it's bugged. Whoa, I don't know. Do for you? Or it's just super, super rare. Never had that uh, unique drop for me in this game. But I don't, I don't want to play this game for the unique drops. I kind of play just to play it. That's why I don't really get into the whole looting aspect of Diablo games and games like this. It's more the experience of it. I think that's what was missing with me with Diablo 2. That game was fun multiplayer wise. But that was the game, being a teenager, um, that I found out what the word build was. I remember browsing game facts a few times and people were talking about min-maxing, build this, build that, hammered in, how to build a barbarian, um, Amazon, I'm reading all their stuff and I had like a, what are you guys talking about? I just play the game and I finished it that way. And they thought I was new, like, no, I've been playing the game for like six months. All I did was just put points to whatever I wanted and I finished the game. You guys are really confusing the heck out of me. That's kind of normal in games, though, where they optimize their build, because that's part of the fun. But that, no, that's, that's not me. I kind of don't like doing that. But either way, I think we missed this little part here. So let's go there real quick. We also missed this piece of gold pile. We'll grab that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I never played the higher difficulties in um, D2. I played multiplayer with a friend who joined a clan for a little while, then I just stopped. <clears throat> I like the simplicity this game brings. Okay, there's nothing there. And... Nothing there, but at least we cleared out the entire level. So let's go to level four. We are making some progress. We're level, almost level 10 right now. Well, not really. We got 10,000 experience points left. We got a super powerful sword, which lowers our health by 10. And lowers our light radius by 10%, which isn't a big deal. And gives us a lot of damage. All right, level four. Hopefully those enemies won't pop up. If they do, I'll I'll be very surprised. Okay, we got a Shadow Beast. Scroll of Stone Curse. We don't... Uh, I wonder if that sells for a lot. We'll take that. Okay, they're not here. Thank... Thank... Uh, thank Enos. There's no Enos in this game, but... I want to thank him anyways. Archers. Horrors. Ah, that's the enemy right there. Black Death. Eesh. Of course. Oh my god. So those enemies... lower your max health. So 90 become 88. Oh boy. Permanently. But you won't be able to re regain it. Alright, let's see if we can just... You don't want to engage in melee with those darn things. Yeah, Black Death uh, lowers your max health by minus two. And you can never regain it. Just my luck, right? Yeesh. Really annoying. So I remember playing a few years ago the Rogue. And I remember looking at my health thinking, uh, isn't my health supposed to be X number? And it wasn't. I was like, how did it drain? We don't have enough mana for these Not things either. Uh, hopefully there won't be a huge crowd of them. I think we can get past this level. If I see stairs going down, I'm just going to go down. And the game doesn't tell you. Um, about losing health with those guys either. It's just... It's if you happen to notice it in the stat sheet. A lot of players just go ahead and sort of restart the game if that uh, happens. We'll try to just get over it since they seem to be straggling. They seem to be just stragglers. I need a drink. I've been talking too long. I'm hurting my throat. Pause. Right. Go and save. Yeah, I remember playing my rogue and I was like, why is my health minus two? And I, I noticed it pretty late. I look it up. And yeah, Black Death. That's like the only clue, the name Black Death, but you may not be able to make the connection back in the day. really messes up your character build. Oh well. Not build, but it sucks losing uh, max health like that. Getting hit once or twice isn't a big deal, but I don't want to get hit at all. And there's a convenient bow right there. Let's see if I can use a bow on those things. Stay away from me. At least they're slow. Come on, uh, dark ones. Let's go get that bow. 
And thankfully those are the only enemies that can lower your health like that. That'll work. That will work. Put this here. And uh, put this here. Uh, we're almost level 10. Nice. I think we'll put it into Dex and Vitality. Get a little bit of health since we lost some equipping this awesome sword. Admittedly awesome sword. Let's move back. I don't want to fight those whores. It's probably a whole group of them. How about you? Also, still red, yeesh. Over there, take this. Thank you. Turn skeletons. Let's go ahead and use this mono potion. And we're low on potions in general, yeesh. The butcher really lowered our supplies. A little bit dangerous, dangerous enemy for a while. I feel like if we take care of, ouch, the Butcher, then we should be able to take care of the next few levels. That's bad luck right there. Like three, four barrels exploding in front of me. Ah, we leveled up, nice. I didn't even need to heal if I didn't want to. Let's move back. Ouch. Let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three, and boom, boom. 18 points left to max dex. Ah, black death, darn it. So close. Alright, we're gonna have to equip our bow. These darn things. Making me use a bow. What does this game think I am? A rogue? Oh, a magical axe. Nice. Fight these guys, I guess. At least for a rogue, these things aren't too bad. But you may get unlucky, open a door, and a black death is right there and he hits you or something like that. But those guys are down. We are low on potions. Darn it. This isn't working. It's just this. Shorts. I can't carry anymore. You can't. Why not? Because my inventory is packed. Be careful here. Um, the black deaths around here doesn't look like it let's clear this that's a NPC right there snot spill that's a gross name that's really gross anybody in here we'll talk to him in a minute Archers. I'll check something real quick. 98. 108. Okay. Just making sure I didn't lose any health by accident or something like that. Scroll of lightning and the scroll of healing. We don't need that. And we'll put this here so I don't accidentally click on it with a button. Alright, we got some critters. Shadow Beast, Dark Ones, and a unique enemy. Let's heal. We need to buy some... Buy some potions. Let's go all the way up here and through this door. That way we fight one at a time. This doorway, I mean. Patience.
Fight on my terms, not theirs. Pulse Crawler. There's a lot of unique enemies in this game. Some you may never see. The strategy guide lists all the unique enemies in this game. I gotta Blade. pawn some of this stuff. I do gotta pawn some of this stuff. Mm. Can I... Is there anything I can drop? Alright, let's just go back to town in a minute. Let's go down. Actually, let's go back to town. So I don't forget that blade. Off we go. Alright. Let's pick up some of this. I'm gonna buy some new stuff, I think. We'll also sell these two. The blade and buckler. 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 All right, screen again. That's good. Hello, my friend. Hello, Kane. Stay a while and listen. Cursed armor there. That tin axe of the sky, which is also kind of cursed, but also blessed in a way. Nine vitality for the cap, and a magical staff of the mind, which we don't need. So we got twenty-two percent armor, nine to vitality here. That's better. That'll offset our sword, giving us less health. Well, what can I do for you? You can uh, buy some stuff from me. One whole gold coin for the armor of frailty. That's a lot. You can have this. That. I almost sold the bow. I don't want to sell the bow. I need the bow. Repair all this. And what can I buy? A flaming sword. Pearl Shield of the Mind, we don't need that. Sword of the Sky, Crimson Armor. Only a bit better than our regular armor, we won't buy that. Let's go to Pep and buy some um, potions. What ails you, my friend? Um, my tool belt can use some healing. Let's go ahead and this. Buy all of this. There we go. And that should be it. Scroll healing. Let's go to Adria. Sell the staff. Then we'll go talk to Snot Spill right after this. After clearing that bottom area. I'll be quiet for a little bit. I'll, this music is very, very nice to listen to. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. Gold. I think we're ready. Matt Ullman really had a good idea of what Tristram is all about. They just don't make music like this anymore in video games, do they? I remember someone saying when modern games, like even back like eight years ago, they all of a sudden they wanted to sound like Batman Begins. Just these orchestrated um tracks and scores that you just don't quite, they're not quite memorable if that makes any sense the last game that had a very memorable soundtrack to me that I played years ago was Nier Automata where the atmosphere of the game, as you progress in the story, the score changes along with it to reflect what was going on um, with the events just games don't really do that anymore back. We need to slay some more creatures. So it's like one of those situations, I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. How about you? Oh no! Oh, I wasn't paying attention there. Yeah. 
Sheesh. Just muscle memory is making me not pay attention. Robin Hood would be proud of that shot. Got our blade that we picked up over there. I actually picked that up by accident. Alrighty then. Ah, that's you. All of you. Another Black Death creature. Morning Star, we don't need that. Pick up some of this gold. Any more... Any more monsters? Doesn't look like it. Got some horrors. These are the best, uh, those are the high tier of skeletons in this game, horrors. Alright, I got some more Black Death enemies. Good thing we've been raising our dexterity score, eh? Can't hit the broadside of the barn. A rogue would have no issues. I guess if we find a magical bow, we'll keep it. We haven't found any magical bows yet, I don't think, unless I sold it without thinking about it. Uh, anything here? Nope. Just some darn skeletons. Keep my eye out too for Black Deaths. Take out these archers first. There we go. Got a short bow, some gold. Healing scroll, we'll take that. I'll use it too. Sixteen. Book of fire bolts. Don't really. We're never going to use that, but it's nice to learn it if we can. All right. We'll go to Snotsbill last. Still gonna explore all of this. Yeah, okay, let's go back to this bottom area here. Because there's a pathway. I wonder what's beyond this point. Probably more Black Death creatures that I'm trying to avoid. No, just skeletons. Corpse captains. Ah, that's you. Evil skeletons. Nothing over here, no chests, no nothing. Try to miss anything over here. That's where Snot Spill is. At this point here to go to. In just in case no one's played this, I'm not gonna spoil how many floors the cathedral has, but this game is admittedly pretty short, so. What's it armor that's weaker than our main armor, so we'll throw that away up here. Ah, okay, we gotta go where Twist Not Spill is to go to over that to that area. So let's go talk to him. Our first demon we can talk to. Not really a demon, I don't think. Not everyone in this cathedral is a demon, I don't I don't believe. I forget the lore of these guys. One that kill all. You get me magic banner, or we attack. You no live with life. You kill big uglies and give back magic. Go past corner and door, find uglies. You give, you go. Demanding little thing, isn't he? Let's go ahead and go back to town. And yeah, we'll just cast it right in front of him, which is probably not very smart, but either way. Let's go and grab our gold. Just in case we're going to buy something. I'm going to see about 
find some better equipment. Always good to do when you come back to town, as stuff refreshes after a while, or on every visit, revisit. I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh, wait. The quest didn't pop up in my journal. I sense a soul in search of answers. It's supposed to pop up in my journal, that's weird. Let's go talk to Ogden, the tavern owner, and see what's going on. Think I ran into a bug already? If so, that's the first time. Master, I have a oh, here we go. experience to relate. I know that you have a great knowledge of those monstrosities that inhabit the labyrinth, and this is something that I cannot understand for the very life of me. I was awakened during the night by a scraping sound just outside of my tavern. When I looked out from my bedroom, I saw the shapes of small demon-like creatures in the inn yard. After a short time, they ran off, but not before stealing the sign to my inn. I don't know why the demons would steal my sign, but leave my family in peace. It is strange, now. Very strange. Okay, that's our quest. Now we can talk to people about it. Ogden's sign. Well, what kind of demons stole Ogden's sign, you say? That uh, doesn't sound much like the atrocities I've heard of or seen. Demons are concerned with ripping out your heart, not your signpost. Not these demons. Let's go ahead and uh, sell some stuff, I think. Actually, no, let's re repair. Let's identify. Hello, my friend. Stay Blade of Might plus listen. 8 to Strength. That's definitely not going to be as strong as our Executioner's Blade. Well, what can I do for you? Okay, you can have this. I got to be careful not to mass sell because I don't want to sell my composite bow yet. Now, what do you have? Still the same stuff. I think it takes time. Hello, my friend. I see that this strange behavior puzzles you as well. I would surmise that since many demons fear the light of the sun and believe that it holds great power, it may be that the rising sun depicted on the sign you speak of has led them to believe that it too holds some arcane powers. Hmm. Perhaps they are not all as smart as we had feared. Indeed. Superstitious demons. What ails you, my friend? My goodness, demons running about the village at night, pillaging our homes, is nothing sacred. I hope that Ogden and Garda are all right. I suppose that they would come to see me if they were hurt. You can always go visit them, Pepin. Let's see what Farnham has to say. Just over here drinking away his sorrows. Stand a fellow drinking peace? You know what I think? Somebody took that sign. They're gonna want lots of money for it. If I was Ogden, and I'm not, but if I was, I'd just buy a new sign with some pretty drawing. Maybe a nice mug of ale or a piece of cheese. Why not both? Alright, let's go talk to Jillian, and then Wirt, and then Adria, then we can go back to Snotspill and find a sign for him. Or for Ogden. Good day. How may I serve you? You get choices in this game. Oh my, is that where the sign went? My grandmother and I must have slept right through the whole thing. Thank the light that those monsters didn't attack the inn. And also, you never see her grandmother. I suppose she's in the house. I don't think she's ever mentioned anymore in future installments. Yeah, this is the best Diablo game. I really like this game. One of the few PC games I played back then, even though I was a console guy. Wirt. Psst, over here. Endangered Coil Coal 4. Hey, welcome. What? Is he saying I took that? I suppose that Griswold is on his side too. Look, I got over simple sign stealing months ago. You can't turn a profit on a piece of wood. Oh, that's true. This kid's very greedy. He's gonna make a great merchant one day. If he, uh, yeah. 
Let's spend some money on this. Armor the Wolf. 13, 33 hit points. It's usually better to just do that when you're a higher level towards the end of the game than spend all your gold. <clears throat> Alright, we'll talk to Adria. Then go back to the cathedral. Do we buy a... We did. Town Portal Scroll. Just a little hop and a skip. These NPCs are pretty far away. And like I said, I'm stubborn. Because I'm playing the base game with no jog option to turn on. Hello, Adria. I sense a soul in search of answers. Tell me about Ogden's sign. No mortal can truly understand the mind of the demon. Never let their erratic actions confuse you, as that too may be their plan. I don't think it is in this case, Adria. Okay, we got our town portal scroll ready to go. Let's go back to the cathedral. Find that sign. I gotta dump my gold. Alright, here we go. This here. Put that here. Hopefully we're rolling across any Black Death along the way. Go past corner and door. Fight big uglies. You give, you go. This corner, right? Hello there. There's some. Those are definitely some demons. These fat guys. You saw them in the intro. Overlords. They're not too strong, though. Intimidating, but not very strong. They die in two hits. Alright. And here it is Tavern sign. So we can give this to Ogden, or we can give this to Snotspill. We're probably going to give it to Ogden. And, um, after we explore the rest of the cathedral here. Dark one. How about you? Here we go. We'll read that in a minute. The Realms Beyond book. Just want to explore first. Those traps can actually, can actually hit enemies, too. I like that. It hasn't yet. It's been hitting us most of the time. Archers. Yeah. Like this. Oh, good. We leveled up. Level 11, I believe. He's up real quick. Ah. Uh. Whole bunch of Black Death dudes. Let's go this way. That's one down. That's two. These darn things in their um, permanent loss of health when they hit you. Okay, let's increase our... One, two, three, and we'll put... Let's put it into... Strength. 15 points left for max decks. Hopefully no more black deaths in this... Uh, I saw one. Darn it. These things can't... This game really had to spawn black dust for me. There we go. Alright, we're almost done with this level. The next level will be some changes. 
Black Death. I almost muscle memory muscle memory the approach to him. And just started attacking him melee. That would have been bad. Not a huge deal losing minus two health once, but I'd rather not lose any. We're doing well so far. What level are we? Level 11. We're tracking. With each enemy killed, the closer we get to Diablo. And before Diablo, the Archbishop Lazarus, who I'm sure is still in this cathedral. We gotta find Prince Albrecht and see if he's alright. I'm sure he is. Alright, good. So, got some... Got a bearer here. They can't reach us, but we can reach them. How about you? There we go. Still a ways to level 12. Ah. Careful. Yeah, some players just... It's recommended to restart when you encounter Black Death like that. Because if you're careless, you can get hit. All it takes is one. But we seem to be doing alright. We got Identify Scroll. Which we can't really use on anything yet. We got a Town Portal book. Nice. Now we kind of don't really need... Um... Well, actually, we can't even cast it. We can memorize it, but we can't cast it because we're low on mana. Wonderful. So we still need scrolls. Darn it. Let's move around. Do we explore everywhere? We got this little section here, which is probably nothing. Probably no enemies. All right, let's go back to where Snotspill was. We're not going to give him the sign. We're going to give Ogden the sign because I'd rather help townspeople and not a dirty demon. So, I suppose if you were going to be pragmatic, you would give it to the demon for a chance to go further into Cathedral because you never know. Like if you're in his situation. And also, we got to read this book. Let's do a little evening reading. Oh. Praises to Diablo, Lord of Terror and survivor of the Dark Exile. When he awakened from his long slumber, my lord and master spoke to me of secrets that few mortals know. He told me the kingdoms of the high heavens and the pits of the burning hells engage in an eternal war. He revealed the powers that have brought this discord to the realms of man. My lord has named the battle for this world and all who exist here, the Sin War. This game actually has really good lore. That is... Guy Talkin is Lazarus. He really lost himself to the forces of evil. Alright. Let's go back to town. Give that sign back to Ogden. Also gonna buy another Town Portal Scroll. First thing I do... ...before doing anything. Otherwise I might forget, and then we'll have to walk all the way back up. Which is not something I want to do. Adria... I sense a soul in search of answers. And you can also... ...have... Oh, I didn't. I already sold it. Never mind. I thought I still had the stone curse scroll. All right, the sign. We're glad we didn't get hit any by Black Death. I got hit in my rogue years ago and really annoyed me. Oh, we didn't have to bring back my sign, but I suppose that it does save me the expense of having another one made. Well, let me see. What could I give you as a fee for finding it? Hmm. What have we here? Ah, oh, yes. This cap was left in one of the rooms by a magician who stayed here some time ago. Perhaps it 
may be of some value to you. Hey, drunk. Good to see you again. Let's go ahead and identify that. Yeah. I'm glad you're liking it. That game's actually pretty fun to play. Hello, my friend. Stay I still have the same listen. feelings for it now as I did back when I played it, but when it came out. Okay, this is probably not something I want to wear. I never really wore this. Lowers armor class. I think we'll just sell it. I like the way Ogden says, by a magician, like it's... Like he's never heard of a magician before. We'll sell it, only a thousand gold. Well, we'll pair all this. Those spam attacked us. To him, probably. I think those attacks have better range. Oh no. Well, what can I do for you? Griswold, do you have any awesome stuff I can buy? Does not look like it. That's too bad. Let's heal up at uh, Pepin, and I think I'll take a little break for like five to ten. What ails you, my friend? Because I need a stretch. I can seriously sit for six hours straight streaming and gaming, but that's not very good for you. I'm really supposed to be getting up every hour, but I'm lazy. So, I'm gonna go over here. First, I'm gonna drop some gold. We'll keep that, we'll keep the, uh, we, I guess we don't need this bow anymore. We're not gonna run across any more Black Death, so that's... Well, I'll be touching my toes, definitely. Okay. Alright, we're gonna save. And I will be back in about five minutes. Enjoy the music. Alright, I'm back. Ready to play some more Diablo. Ready to go further into the labyrinth and face off against more demons. First, double check. Okay, we're good. Let's go see how Snotspill is doing. I don't think he's too pleased that we gave away his... Allegedly, what he thinks is a magical sign. We won't go in there. We're gonna fight here. How about you? We're safe here. Dropped a large axe. A magical one. Wish they would drop a sword, a composite bow. We don't need that. Never make deals with demons. Not very wise. Skull cap, that's just a regular one. A short bow. There we go. I think that's all of them. There we go. Snot spill is dead. So we guess we're bossing us around, right? Large axe, we'll take that. Also take that one too before we forget. And we'll just mop up the rest of these dudes. I always like that feeling after a good stretch. You sit down and your legs feel all tingly. It's a nice feeling. All right, so we're ready to go to level five. We'll save. The smell of death surrounds me. Now our environment has changed. Redshift, hey, welcome to Diablo. We just made it to level five. We blocked uh, an explosion somehow. Things have become a little different. We're in catacombs now. The catacombs. Wonder what kind of enemies will face it off against here. Oh, we got some archers, bats, stalkers. Another tier of hidden enemies. The hidden uh, creatures. What did he drop? Did he drop anything? Staff of Charged Bolt. We don't need that. We will leave. We're not quite close to level 12 yet.
I haven't jogged in forever. Ooh. I remember jogging a lot in high school because I thought that was like the only way to lose weight until I got older and people were saying, you're better off just cutting a bit of calories than just trying to burn it off like that. And they're right. I really like doing uh, those plyo inspired workouts from P90X. Those are really good. But I've gotten kind of lazy with stuff lately. Oh, we got gargoyles, winged demons. A full rejuvenation potion, we'll take that. Thankfully they stay there, unless we come close, so we can fight them later. Magical robe, you really don't need that, but we'll sell it. Hopefully it's worth like a million gold or something. No more black death, thank goodness. I'm glad we didn't get hit by one of them. Or any of them, rather. So these guys hit kind of hard. Yeah, I've always added um, a bit of cardio just with uh, CICO. Just because, well, why not get full benefits from it? You can eat more, too. It's always nice. A little bit more. I always like the uh, the model for this full rejuvenation potion. Got that little skull cap there. All right, almost level twelve. Diminishing returns with enemies the higher level you get. Blizzard North and David Brevik, the other designers and programmers, they went all out in this game. It did really... This game is impressive back then. It blew my mind. Just the animations really hold up. The visual style still holds up. And this is not with any mods or anything. Just the base game. Honestly, I can play this and nothing else. The only thing I like is to have like a difficulty selection so I can max out my level. I haven't played the second game in forever. That game had excellent multiplayer. For single player, I prefer this campaign, but the single player to Diablo 2 is still just as brutal and dark. I love it. And so many classes, too. A lot of classes to play. Oh, we got a unique enemy there. Foul Wing. Let's uh, kill these dudes. Got you. Attack fast. I can't even get a chance to hit. Yeesh. Come on. Just keep doing this. Hoping to get some chainmail armor in, a, in this level. There we go. A broad axe. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. Well, actually, we can't. We got a book of Inferno, though. Got some spells. Oh, the controller works well with Diablo 2. I gotta give that a try one day. I think we have to go back to town. Darn it. I don't want to. It's like we just stepped in here. Well, let's go do that. Let's identify something, though. Let's identify this cap. Which is better than what we're wearing. It has, uh, improves our two-hit chance. We're going to need dexterity gear for the warrior. Okay, let's do this. There we go. We should probably go back anyways. So let's do that. Taking lots of trips to town. Let's go to Adria first, as always. Get ourselves a town scroll 
Town Portal Scroll. I did hear Gothic 1 and 2 plays very well on Switch, though. Though I don't think I'm ever going to get it on Switch. I sense a soul in search of answers. I don't want too many consoles in the house just to have it sit there. It's just going to sit there after being played only for only a little bit. I did that with the PS5 and I sold it about a year ago. Because I was just not really liking it. I don't know why I bought it. It was like an impulse buy. Sony sent me an email back when PS5 was kind of limited. They were kind of always going out of stock saying, hey, you can buy a PS5 now. It's like, oh, I'll, go. I'll buy it. Why not? I can always use it as a Blu-ray player for 4K movies. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Topaz Axe. Light Axe. Grand Robe Protection. That's... I wish it was a leather, leather uh, piece of armor, or like chain. How much armor does that give us? Not much. Our blue armor is better. Let's go heal by Pepin. See how he's doing. What ails you, my friend? I'm glad he does that for free. That's so handy. Well, what can I do for you? I thought he'd drop a quest. There's a quest with Griswold in the catacombs to go find um, like some sort of space ore that fell from the sky and he crafts you something from it. It's pretty cool. You can have this. That, 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 that. Repair all that. And he doesn't have anything new in regards to magical weapons and armor. Too bad. So sad. Let's go back. <clears throat> also, let's sell these real quick. I don't need those anymore. Alright, Griswold. Oh, what can I do for you? Have these. Let's dump some gold. 20, we got 25,000 gold or so. Put that there. We'll take this rejuvenation potion. These here. There we go. That'll be our loose spots here. We'll save and off we go. Check our stats. I think we'll raise something. I guess dexterity. Again. We're very close to maxing that out. Or maybe strength three and boom, I guess. I don't know. All right. Oh. Um, yeah, I didn't notice that. So these stairs take us back here. I didn't even need to use a town portal scroll. Oops. Let's go back. Takes us near the cathedral. That goes down to level six. We're not going to take that yet. We're going to explore all of this and ouch that was trapped whenever those traps go off it makes me want to makes me think maybe I should just play a rogue I'm probably going to play a rogue right after this so yeah so let's go back this way these catacombs are creepy oh a library so these bats can dash through a hallway towards you. It's a little annoying. Hello, skellies. How about you? Nice. We leveled up. There we go. That was easy. It just got regular weapon drops. This is a scroll of healing. We'll take that. This is a scroll, of, a book of town portal, which we can't use. 24 magic. Too bad. Let's raise rank by three and dex by two. Almost 80% for 
um, to hit chance. I'm not being too optimal with the stats. It's not a big deal. Also, we got helmets. Six armor. Three armor to that. Okay, that's not really much better. I'd rather have the, the two hit chance to take these enemies out. So far, so good. Let's go over there. We are making some nice progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. I keep hitting my caps lock key. I have to turn my chair and keyboard and my mouse because I'm playing on my second monitor. And it's like diagonal. Facing me. I did. I started like about two hours ago. And I forgot to move my chat to a bit up. I'll do that next time. Actually, I'll probably do it now. Just give me a minute here. If I can move the chat. Oops, I'm gonna do that. That should be good. Archers, that's great. I kind of rushed getting this stream ready. And also, I got to all tab again. Give me a second here. Made a lot of errors today. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, it's a five by f uh, not five by four. It's a four by three. Um, I actually still have a five by four, but I'm not. I didn't want to use it for this. I wish they would still make these kinds of monitors because this is I don't know. I guess niche. Nobody wants it. I still think the aspect ratio is still very nice to have. I've read of cases of some people buying two or three of these monitors just because it's better for multi-monitor setups. And also, this quest here, nice. We're gonna clear um, around this room first before entering there. Got some bats though. Yeah, they were making some really nice CRTs towards the end there. The best CRTs I owned were the Sony Trinitrons. My parents had a 32, and then they got a 36 later to replace it. And it had practically almost perfect geometry. I always got bugged by geometry issues on CRTs, but those TVs had 99.9% perfect geometry. It was really fun to play games on those. But it's like, I don't really play on my CRT all that much anymore. Uh, I got a Sansui DTV2798 back when it was new. Let back in 09, still works. Amazing picture with component cables, but the geometry on it's so, so wonky. Like when you open up menus in a role-playing game, it's all like wavy and bendy. It's really gross. And I got jealous too, because someone online got the same CRT. And they posted their geometry, and it was perfect for them. I was like, why is it perfect for you and not me? I got- I, I lost the lottery. It's so bad that I kind of just groan and play for like 10-15 minutes and just turn it off. Only some games is fun to play on it. 
something like a Silent Hill or Streets of Rage 2 on Genesis. Silent Hill 2, 3 on PS2. Then it's fine. Also, when did I pick this up? I didn't mean to pick that up. Let's put that away. Alright, let's finally enter this building. And we got Horn Demons. These things are... They make satisfying sounds when they... When you slay them. It's so... It's so good. Book of Blood. And so, locked beyond the gateway of blood and past the Hall of Fire, Valor awaits for the Hero of Light to awaken. Yeah, it's like every single enemy too. It's... It really... Makes it more memorable. So we got a quest to Valor. I'm gonna go see what the townspeople have to say about that. I like to go through their dialogue. The second playthrough will be faster because I won't be going back to town to talk to people about quests. But I always like doing this kind of thing when I replay Diablo. Hey Redshift, I just felt like playing this all of a sudden too. It's a great game. It's a really, really great game. One of the most memorable games. I think the best Diablo game, honestly. And yeah, back then, no guides, though I did have a walkthrough, a strategy guide that I got much later on. I have it right next to me. I don't have a webcam or anything. I wish I can show. But it basically lists all the quests has some lore stuff like about the rogue and the sorcerer it's got it lists every enemy in the game all the uniques all the weapons and armor you can get the uniques the shrines what the shrines do and i basically have it open just for the shrine all right let's talk to i sense a Adria. soul in search of answers Um, and yeah, we can't use the town portal book. Oh yeah, the silencer. I remember reading what someone said. They were able to use that design in Crusader because that helmet isn't trademarked even by Lucas or something like that. So there are no issues using the helmet. This list, like, it's handy to know what the shrines do, though I guess you can just play the game and write down what it does. The strategy guides back then, they put a lot of effort into them. There's a lot of lore stuff in it. That's plus from the manual. Oh, Crusader emotes. Wish I can have those. Also, my bitrate is red again. This Twitch is being very weird to me today. You guys aren't having any issues, but... Yeah, it reveals a lot about the stats in the game and such like that. Like, stuff you would not guess just from playing. Not a lot, but... It was how I knew, like, back then... Because I played the game quite a few times back then before getting the strategy guide, and there were actually some quests that just didn't pop up for me. Like, I remember, I think, like, there's one quest. The Warlord of Blood, it never popped up for me. Like, the, the so, several times I played through, it just never popped up for me. Oh, good. Um, with Gothic 3, um... When I render it, I had to restrict the bitrate to 80,000 megabytes per second, because if I just do automatic best quality, it's going to make the file sizes like 100 gigabytes plus. And Gothic 2 itself, the full playthrough is taking up over one terabyte on my external drive. I keep pausing too. Like Gothic 2, the full playthrough is like 1.2 terabytes. Okay, good. 
I was what ails you, my friend? Because I was told that after 80,000 megabytes per second is diminishing returns for YouTube compression. So I'm trying to just limit it to that. Thanks, Redshift. I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad I got the stream working. Uh, let's, uh, put this here. I think I got too much stuff on the bottom of here. I think we're fine. All right, let's go back to Griswold. Whoa, what can I do for you? Crusader was the first game I streamed on here. And practically no one watched. <laughs> I was new then. I had no idea what I was doing. Because I was trying to do a review on it, and I used compressed video quality to do the review. It looked really bad. Nice. It worked. Alright, let's go back to the cathedral. The catacombs. And... Go in here. Also, I forgot to talk to NPCs. Let's sidetrack. Let's go back. Alright, Adria. Like recent Crusader streams. Oh, nice. I like it when it works out like that. I sense a soul in search of answers. Should you find these stones of blood, use them carefully. The way is fraught with danger, and your only hope rests within your self-trust. Okay, that was... just a bit... not very helpful, Adria. The Lord of Diablo is really, really interesting. One and two are my favorite games. Three is kind of, yeah. I haven't played four. I just kind of don't want to. I kind of don't. Wow! What can I do for you? Not really into Blizzard anymore. The armor known as Valor could be what tips the scales in your favor. I'll tell you that many have looked for it, including myself. Arcane hit it well, my friend. And it'll take more than a bit of luck to unlock the secrets that have kept it concealed all low these many years. Yeah, Diablo 3 was not... I played that with a friend long when it came out, and... Yeah, it's just the style of it. It's just not for me, I guess. Brevik made... 1 and 2. Is, it was great because of uh, Brevik and his team. They really knew uh, how to craft this kind of atmospheric uh, hack and slash game. Yeah, it's too bad. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. The Gateway of Blood <clears throat> and the Halls of Fire are landmarks of mystic origin. Wherever this book you read from resides. It is surely a place of great power. Legends speak of a pedestal that is carved from obsidian stone and has a pool of boiling blood atop its bone-encrusted surface. There are also allusions to stones of blood that will open a door that guards an ancient treasure. The nature of this treasure is shrouded in speculation, my friend. But it is said that the ancient hero Arcane Place the holy armor, Valor, in a secret vault. Arcane was the first mortal to turn the tide of the Sin War and chase the legions of darkness back to the burning hells. Just before Arcane died, his armor was hidden away in a secret vault. It is said that when this holy armor is again needed, a hero will arise to don Valor once more. Perhaps you... Are uh, that hero? Perhaps we are, and that was really long-winded, Kane. He is definitely a storyteller to the max. Let's see what Pepin has to say. What ails you, my friend? Hmm. 
It sounds like something I should remember, but I've been so busy learning new cures and creating better elixirs that I must have forgotten. Sorry. Well, that's okay. Well, at least he's a good healer then. He's focused on his craft. Pepin is. Can a fellow drink in peace? He's also a tight rapper. We expected that. Farnum isn't very helpful. He's basically... Just... Yeah. Also gotta move the chat again. I'm too lazy to do it right now. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the tab of every child. Here's the story of the warrior Arcane and his mystic armor known as Valor. If you could find its resting place, you would be well protected against the evil in the labyrinth. We're kind of well protected now, but more protection is always good. It's a really cool piece of armor, too. We'll talk to Jillian, then we'll talk to Wirt. Good day! The story of the magic armor called Valor is something I often heard the boys talk about. You would better ask one of the men in the village. The drowned drunk isn't helpful? No! Basically drinks away his sorrows and just loses it when he's remembered of the bad events in the cathedral. I actually don't remember. Would be cool. Psst, over here. You intend to find the armor known as Valor? No one has ever figured out where Arcane stashed the stuff. And if my contacts couldn't find it, I seriously doubt you ever will either. It's not too hard to find Wirt. Little brat. Okay, let's leave. The only thing I remember from back when I played this is walking down to the very first level of the cathedral, killing a zombie and going, Whoa, that was cool. And my dad next to me saying, You like that, don't you? That was such a long time ago, but I remember that. David Brevik had the same reaction too when he talked about Diablo and his post-mortem thing uh, event a long time ago. Like, they wanted this game, he wanted this game to be turn-based with action points and all that. And he was really adamant on it, and the team was like, no, 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 let's make this uh, real-time. And he's going, no, 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 no. Then he played the game at home one day, killed a skeleton, and it clicked for him. And now we get this wonderful game in gaming history. We need to buy a town portal scroll. Forgot to. Oh, I'm not, uh, I didn't put in for affiliate. Because I don't really stream all that often, though I'm trying to be regular with it. Uh, starting today. I sense a soul in search of answers. At least I, at least that's why you can't subscribe. Because I haven't put in for it yet. Evan. Welcome. Evan underscore. Right on time, too, because we're about to enter... Return to the catacombs. And Arcane's a really cool name for a person. That's how you know that person's a hero. Okay, we got a bloodstone. Put that in there. Creating a pool of boiling blood. And we got a pathway opened here into another room. Or rather, another room opened up to us. Let's go over there. Got you. Demons. You infest our town with your stink. Okay, we got another bloodstone there. And we gotta go back to the obsidian um, stone receptacle. Right here. That's two. Which opens up another room. The word says we're not going to find it. We're pretty close to finding it already. Oh, nice job. You hit the wall. Pretty easy enemies. Yeah, I'll probably play this game again after we finish with the warrior. Play as a rogue. There's a way to max out all your stats 
pretty easily later on. Provided you have enough money. And we'll reach that point when we come to it. And it opens up this little pathway here. Demons. How about you? That's all of them. Also, I picked something up. I don't know what I picked up. Actually, I don't. I don't have anything. And here we go. Arcane's Valor. May the spirit of Arcane protect me. Which we can't, uh... We can't identify. So we need to go back to town. Because I want to identify it. Oh, you're being sarcastic. There's things that go over my head. Alright, let's go identify our armor. Because that's really going to help us out. That's all. that's... That doesn't seem right to me, like... What ails you, my friend? Because it seems like you should try this for at least a year, and then, and then maybe uh, put it in there, but don't advertise it. I guess. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. All right, we got twenty-five armor class for this awesome armor. Plus ten to vitality, three damage, minus three damage from enemies, fastest hit recovery. And we got a new, and this blew my mind back in the day too. When you equip an armor, it reflects on your character. I like that. And this game came out in 97. That was kind of a new thing back then. I love that. It's really, really cool. Even today is pretty cool. Zoom in a little bit. Whoa, what can I do for you? We'll sell that and we'll repair everything. And we got, we need to get a, another town portal scroll. Now we're really well protected. We got 43 armor right now. And I can see that. Plus 10 to vitality, more hit points, and minus 3 damage from enemies. The plate armor on um, the warrior looks amazing in this game. I sense a soul in search of answers. <clears throat> yeah, I always drop stuff near that um, portal. I know with Devolution X, I think they give you a, a stash. Beelzebub gives you a stash too, the two mods. But like I said, I don't want to have Hellfire attached to this playthrough. Next playthrough in the future, I'll do Devolution X. But I'm not really into... Feels about that much. I thought I think it changes too much. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go back to level five. Oh, I haven't. Uh, I don't think I heard of it. I gotta check it out. I mean, I probably won't play it, but I'll read about it. Alright, let's get out of here. And when you open that, it closes all the doors. It traps you inside. Just the only thing I know, the model doesn't look anything like this model, but whatever. It's a 97 game. This kind of thing just blew my mind back then. So I thought you were stuck playing the leather armor guy. Take out these thingies. Are we about leveled up right now? We're pretty close. That's you, Wigan Demons. Definitely a replayable game, Diablo 1. Oh, archers, a lot of them. Yeesh. This game looks really good on a 4x3 monitor. 
fits the entire screen. Like there's two settings in the options. Integer scaling, which tries to scale it exactly like it would show on a CRT. If I'm using fit. Because it puts a black puts black around the game window. Which isn't that kind of thing annoys me. It looks great with full screen though. When you fit the screen, fit it to the screen. Alright, let's put points into let's kill this first. Bam bam bam. No put it into magic. Alright, we're doing well. Let's clear the outer area first. Got some skeleton stragglers here. Ranged people get annoying later on, ranged enemies. And we'll reach that point when we come to it. Yeesh. I've actually got uh, gargoyles, almost like goblins. There's probably a lot of enemies in here, watch. Well, probably, they're hidden. I'm not gonna walk in there. I'm gonna wait right here. Safer. Come on. There we go. Anything else in here? Any more stalkers? Okay, hidden shrine. What that does is. I can find it. I'm not gonna enter it because what it does is. It adds 10 points to the maximum and current durability to all items, and minus 10 to 1. So I'm just going to leave it alone. You can probably unequip everything. And then it'll get over the uh, minus 10 durability to other items. But uh, I'm not doing that. Not a big deal. Kind of had this thing, like my first playthrough. Is like, well, I'm not trying it. No way. Some of the shrines are. Ah. Not very, not very, uh. Like some of them are detracting to you. To you. Yeah, I like sciencing things on the second playthrough. No, it didn't pop up for me. That's too bad. We got... Butcher. Poison Well. I think if you get Poison Well, you don't get uh, Leoric. We got... Ogden Sign with Snot Spill. With the uh, Dark Ones. Amazing, we don't need that. And we got Valor. We also got a Lightning uh, Spell to learn. Which we won't use. We'll learn it though, because why not? Getting the Auric would have been would have been nice, but we got some good quests. Like I'm glad we got Arcane's armor. Okay, we cleared this area, so let's just This level's taking a while too. It would be Pog. I haven't heard that in a while. Pog. I think we explored. Yeah, we did. We're ready to go to level six, finally. Level took a while. I always got this thing where I want to slay every creature for the first run. Then later runs just skip. The easy stuff. But we're better equipped to face the dangers in this deep, deep labyrinth. Alright, level 6. Here we go. Go and save. What kind of creatures do we have in this level? Let's 
go over here. Motion of Mana, we'll take that, why not? Familiar. Oh, these things. They can cast lightning. Weird Shrine, I think that... I think that does something. Acid Beast, those guys are annoying too. Their blood hurts you if you walk over it without it drying. If you don't wait for it to dry, it does damage to you. Those little acid creatures. Creatures, excuse me. That's too bad. Okay, let's... Oh, okay. We're gonna stay right here. We're not going in there. They can still attack us since they're ranged. Darn it. Wait for that to dry. Oh, we got a staff town portal. Um, that takes us space though, so. Whoa, okay. A lot of doggos. Well, they're not doggos, they're demon things. I can spit acid. There we go. 31 pieces of gold. Wait for that to dry. Let's go in. That's it. I remember someone saying Pog to me on Discord about a week or two ago, and I told them, I haven't heard that in a long time. I thought that, that died. All right, weird shrine. So we'll use this, see what it does. The Sword of Justice is swift and sharp. And what that does is, it has plus one to minimum and max damage, I believe. Plus one to all weapons max damage, excuse me. Just max damage. Now we can do an extra point of damage. Pretty cool. 15 to 27 now. I like how the demon thing pokes out. Dropping the cross. Oh, the grandfather sword never dropped for me in this game. I remember hoping on each playthrough I would get the Grandfather Sword. I think it's... didn't they say it was bugged? I don't know if it's bugged. Or it's just super, super rare. Like 0.000000001% chance of dropping or something. We got goat creatures here. Without the uh, strategy guide, I would not know the Grandfather Sword even existed back then, with, before internet became a thing, mainstream. I was like, oh, that's a really good sword. Ah, me alone. I hope I get it. If I get it, then I think I'll expend all my luck for the next... 50 years. The rest of my life, really. It did, I don't think it even dropped for me for with a rogue. Another town portal uh, book. Let's put right here, I guess. Put this here, too, I guess. Um. Huh. This was the first multiplayer game I played, too. I played with a friend from 8th grade. I remember we played on the next difficulty level. And we got to the hell level, and there were, like, no joke, the entire level, each tile was filled with, uh... I forget which tier of... Death Knights, like, Blood Knights? Black Knights? The Death Knights? Like, we would do a portal and they would like cover the like the entire level it was crazy not level but the room it was a lot one of my earliest memories of this game really really good game also a cheater's haven too that 
that multiplayer, there was like no anti-cheat of any sort, so you can easily hack your stats or your people duped items. They would dupe like or create a godly plate of the whales for everyone. <laughs> oh. I don't know how we blocked that from behind, but I guess our guy's that good. Okay, we got Bile Froth the Pit Master. Let's take him out. I got you. He was easy. You dropped a dagger? Really? That doesn't sound very helpful. Ah. Uh, Chamber of Bone. I think that always... This quest always shows up. The Chamber of Bone. I just wish we had the Firewall Scroll. Or spell, rather. We're not really getting that many spells. Ah, I saw acid. You're just making me remember the days where our internet was connected through phone lines. The day we got cable internet was such a huge upgrade and a huge breath of fresh air. I remember me and a friend in high school. We visited another friend at his house and he had cable or DSL or something. And a page loaded instantaneously and my friend told him, I envy you. Oh, see. Got hit by the trap, I like that. I like when enemies can get hit by traps. Alright, we got a mythical book, and we also block an explosion right there. More demon dogs. Of course. We're not done with this level yet. And we leveled up, though. That's good. What can we raise? We're close to maxing out dexterity. I guess we may as well. Because we're good on strength. Let's just go ahead and max it out. One more level maxed out that we can do. Alternate these, I suppose. Like, I want to be able to hit things, you know? I don't think so. I think hardcore was introduced in Diablo 2. I think it was just normal and nightmare and hell in Diablo 1, I can't remember. Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror, and so it is written. Oh, the Lord of Terror himself said that? I forgot about that. Okay, we got the Chamber of Bone quest. I don't know if NPCs talk about the Chamber of Bone though. We'll go back to town eventually. We're not getting any item drops so far. It's a shame. I'll go into that door later. I'm gonna go this way. Open this large chest and... We got a mall. Nice. Anything in here? Just barrels and bats. Glooms. The more we kill an enemy, the more their stats show up in their... The stats will show up in their panel here, in the panel. We don't need this. The fireball scroll, the spell, is a good spell. Really handy spell. Alright, let's go in here. Whoa! Holy deuce! Death Shade Flesh Maul. That's you. He's got a unique skull pad, that's cool. I'm glad they can't hit us. Yeesh. That's a lot of dogs. I know they're probably not dogs, I'm calling them dogs. Alright, let's just do this. Maybe they can come out here like this. Save. Just in case. Oh, 
Wow. Well, let's, uh, hold on. Keep my number, my finger on one of the hotkeys. Okay, the, the master's dead, the main guy. And I know it gets much worse later on. So good. A unique long staff, two unique weapons. Unique items, I mean. Got a ring. Let's organize this a little bit, and I guess put these here. Because why not? I'll eh, put that there as well. We have no identify scrolls, too bad. A unique long staff, a unique skull cap, and I think that's new to me. I don't think I ever saw that before. We're still wearing the crappy cap. Well, one of the low-tier caps. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's go and save. Save a lot. There we go. Uh, I'm still waste level 15. One more level, we can max out decks. Nothing in here. Those things are... They're slightly annoying, the lightning. Oh, more of these dudes. The Rogan Sorcerer is a bit, uh, a bit easier to play Diablo with. Yeah, I do. Well, high on fire. Eventually we'll max these out. Get the right stuff. Ah, scroll firewall, I'll take that. Can we cast it? We can. Excellent. Also I have a book of flash, which we can't use, because we are low on magic. Not really focused on magic in this game yet. More acid beasts. Still on level six. We'll explore all of this. Uh... I'm just basically focused on decks to get two hit up, and oh, no, I sort of max out everything, anyways, towards the end. Because we get uh, what do you call it? I don't want to spoil it. Once you get to the caves, your stats. Oh. I just sort of take magic as it comes to me. Got some goats. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna take that. Oh, I mean, I'm eventually going to raise magic up once I'm satisfied with de decks being maxed out. Just because I want to hit things, and then I can, you know, level up strength because we're a warrior. It's mostly so I can um, cast the town portal spell without using the damn scroll, I guess. And I like using the firewall 
spell, so I'm hoping to get that. Because either way, I can just... If we hit a wall later on, I can always just restart with our level and just go all the way back to where, like, towards the end. Let's identify this. Thinking cap. Whoa, that's low durability. 101, yeesh. Gives you 30 mana. Spells are increased by two levels. And gives you resistances. Well, that's good for a sorcerer. Easy to do 100 million times, too. Like last time I played this with a rogue, I would go ahead and finish the game and I'll just restart and get as much level ups as is required for the base game. Like, I think it gets to level 30. And then there's a way to max out like your decks. I had all everything maxed out by that point. And we can't use firewall, what a shame. What a shame. Yeah, with the elixirs, those are available in, later on. There's like a way to... Have... It's a spoiler, I'll just spoil it. Have Pepin... Well, not really a spoiler. Have Pepin restock his elixir supply. No, we don't. We have a ring here, though. I should probably go back to town, actually. Let's go back to town. Right here. You go talk to Adria. Nope. I don't think we got any amulet drops yet. No, you're just fine. It's an old game. Yeah, we're really low on reses, though. So eventually, we'll... we're gonna need max resistances eventually. I sense a soul in search of answers. I'm in search of a town portal scroll. Thank you. I'll take that. And I forgot to. I should have gone to Kane first. But yeah, we'll eventually max out resistances. And we're gonna need to. And also, we need to carry some gold with us. Only carry a, a bit. Can't use these. Yet. Yeah, the later... The enemies later on are... Hmm. Lower resistance is going to be painful. I'm hoping we can find some. We'll buy some from Griswold. Hello, of course. My friend. Stay a while and listen. Because it's a, a vitality there. Then we'll later. Vitality dagger and leech life maul. What ails you, my friend? Let's heal up. Okay, this we don't need. Resist fire 20%. We don't reckon use staves. I remember a guy a long time ago. I don't remember, I remember this, but back when I played multiplayer Diablo, he had a staff of the apocalypse and had like a lot of charges. I'm like, dude, you cheated that in, didn't you? He was all, let's go till Diablo. And we follow him and I couldn't even hit any enemies and it was boring because all the enemies were being killed by the apocalypse spell. So I just left. Alright, let's sell. Rather, let's equip this right here. Unfortunately, this isn't a resist ring. Yeah, I've never Whoa, what can I do for you? really got into the sorcerer. I just always play either rogue or warrior. The rogue is really fun. I like playing the rogue. Okay, we got some vit. Do one total now. Pretty cool. That there. And... Oh, that's it. Alright, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and save. 
We'll sell the emulator staff to Adria. No, it is not. I sense a soul in search of answers. I think with the rogue, um, always had the mana shield spell, and I used teleportation and phasing. Not phasing, but teleportation to get out of the way. So she fires the bow like a machine gun. It's amazing. Okay, let's put our gold away. I'm just leaving these books here. Just in case, you know, I can... I can use them. I can't use these yet. No. D2 has all, all sorts of add-ons from this game, like all sorts of skills to put in and such. The ability to run. It's definitely a faster paced game. Wait, hold on. Did I buy the... Yes, I did. Alright. I forgot to see if the NPC said anything about the Chamber of Bone. Weird shrine. One second. Another weird shrine, that's great. Hello there, at you. If only we had max lightning resistances. Resistance, rather. I think we'll be able to beat Diablo in one go. Alright. Let's use this. The Sword of Justice is swift and sharp. Now we have... 4 to 10 for Executioner's Blade. Making it a little last a little longer. this a little bit. Don't know why I opened that. Almost level 15. <clears throat> yeah. It's like... Ah. Uh. In war, it makes things a little bit more difficult later on. Melee starts being... I remember it starting... Not, not remember, but I remember being weaker towards the end. Remember, remember. Not weaker, because enemies like to run away from you. And you got projectiles flying all over the place. It's crazy. But I'm playing this guy again because I am pretty stubborn. And also, where are we going? Do we explore everywhere? We did. It's actually not a big level. Alright, let's go to the Chamber of Bone. Find some good treasures in here. And one of my favorite quests is the Warlord of Blood. Guards the Armory of Hell. And so far we haven't found Prince Albrecht or Archbishop Lazarus yet. Unseen. I think those are the best tiers of hidden enemies. The ones that can hide in shadows. Make sure we got everybody. That gold. Anything else in here? No. Ah. Let's 
regular cap. We're still wearing a regular cap too with basic basic stat gains. Oh, well, that's sacrilege right there. Remember they were calling this game satanic back in the day when it has, you know, completely different universe and all that. Ah, level up. It's just max dex, finally. And that's as high as we can get for now until we get dex boosting stuff. And then I can just do vitality and strength. And a little bit of magic. I'm not much of a optimizer. I always raise my stats this way. Because in a game like this, you can always just restart with your levels and go all the way back to where you last left off and level up some more and get some potions. <clears throat> it has been a while. And that opened something. Opened this room over here with some horror captains. And they were guarding a chest. What's inside? We got a, lo a magic longbow, staff of flash, and rags. That is wonderful. I don't need any of these. Oh, who opened that? Someone opened that door. I didn't want anyone to open that door. There's a reason for that. I want that door closed. That's okay. Chat away. That's what it's for. That's what the chat's for. I just wish... I had the, uh... Non-lazy method to move my chat window. I'm too lazy to move it. Oh, today was messed up anyways because I was having problems with the stream when I started. I had a bunch of stuff in my head to talk about before I started. And... Because my sound wasn't working again, and it's saying unstable connection. It's saying that right now, but that may just be a Twitch bug. <clears throat> the skull's on the side, open the door, opens the door. I remember them not opening the door. I don't know. I want to go there last. This is another one of my favorite quests in the game, the Chamber of Bone. Really, really cool quest. Okay, what's in here? Hiddens, right? Yep. Unseens. Only two of them. We got a full helmet. Nice. Leather armor and a small shield. Pawn some of this stuff. And we can't... Oh, we got a ring, too. Let's go back to town. Got some stuff to identify. Let's grab all this, too. Just in case we can buy some better equipment. We still got a ways to level 16. We can finally focus on strength and vitality a little bit. And a little bit of magic. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Armor of strength, we don't need that. Armor of power, I mean. Azure rags. Blue rags. Bow of puncturing damages target's armor. Staff of flash. Ring of power. Oh, a ring of power, eh? And a helm of power. Wow. Lots of power. Okay. So... Yeah, we'll wear that. We'll look in helmets. We also got the ring of strength. We probably don't... Need that? I guess there's a lot of health. We need health. Uh, we'll keep the ring for now. We will not sell it. I'll be careful not to sell it. Well, what can I do for you? Sell the armor of power, the blue rags, the bow of puncturing, and the red cap of skill. Pair all that. And we'll sell the staff. I wish that was a resist ring. It's too bad. We can go see what Wirt has. We have the gold to check.
I sense a soul in search of answers. We have this, Adria. I need a town portal scroll. All right, so let's go see Wirt. Also, we can finally cast the town portal spell. So we're not really using magic anyways right now. And also, I completely forgot we should have kept magic boosting gear. I forgot about that because we can equip magic boosting gear to read some of these books. Whoops, let's go see Wirt, I guess. Way off into the corner. I think one of the mods fixes that, puts him a little bit closer. You can also see if they talk about the Chamber of Bone. I don't think anybody does. Hello, Wirt. Enjoying the shade. Psst, over here. Axe of Vigor. Doesn't have anything. Psst, over here. Oh. Mm, a vast and mysterious treasure, you say? Mm, maybe I could be interested in picking up a few things from you. Or better yet, don't you need some rare and expensive supplies to get you through this ordeal? I do, but nothing you have for now. Well, looks like we gotta talk to NPCs about the Chamber of Bone. But we don't have to, but I like to. Some nicely designed armor for guys wearing. The plate armor looks even better if we get plate armor. This armor will really carry us for a while, too. Good day! I'm afraid that I haven't heard anything about that. Perhaps Kane, the storyteller, could be of some help. So Jillian doesn't say much. She's just a barmaid. Deckard Kane will be able to tell us a lot. But it's nice to expend dialogue. What ails you, my? This sounds like a very dangerous place. If you venture there, please take great care. Oh, we're already venturing in there, and so far we're doing okay, Pepin. We have you to heal us. Hello, my f a book that speaks of a chamber of human bones? Well, a chamber of bone is mentioned in certain archaic writings that I studied in the libraries of the East. These tomes inferred that when the lords of the underworld desired to protect great treasures, they would create domains where those who died in the attempt to steal that treasure would be forever bound to defend it. A twisted, but strangely fitting, end. Now that's morbid. Forever guarding a treasure that you yourself were trying to seek. Well, what can I do for- Ah, no, nothing in this place. But you may try asking Kane. He talks about many things. And we're not surprised maybe he had some answers to your question. Well, we already asked him. Greetings, good master. Well, Greetings. Well, I'm afraid that I don't know anything about that good master. Kane has many books that may be of some help. Yeah, you would figure the regular townsfolk don't know anything about something like that. It would require someone like Kane or Adria who studies such things. Kind of fell. Okay, so listen. There's this chamber of wood, see? And his wife, you know, her, tells the tree. Because you gotta wait. Then I says that might work against him, but if you think I'm gonna pay for this, you. Yeah! <laughs> How they came up with that, I'll never know. Now let's go see Adria, and then we can go back to the Chamber of Bone. Make sure I have my Town Portal Scroll, we're all good. And also check Griswold's supplies. He's drunk all the wow. time. What can I do for you? Armor Cap of the Eagle! Resist all 18%, but uh, eh. Valiant Mail of Radiance. Why'd it have to be a cap? Why couldn't it have been like jewelry or something? just leave. Really low on resistances. Farnham is probably drunk -ders. All right, Adria, what do you say about the 
Chamber of I Bone. Sense a soul. You will become an eternal servant of the Dark Lords <clears throat> should you perish within this cursed domain. Enter the Chamber of Bone at your own peril. Well, we're kind of all in on the cathedral anyways. So our peril is very, very deep. Wrong one. Stump our gold. And uh, our ring can... We'll keep this ring for now. I completely forgot to keep magic boosting gear. That way we can learn magical spells, but oh well. We'll do that from now on. Alright. Now... If you walk through that fire, you get hurt. Go. Oh, I was hoping to be a line. Oh well. That'll still help. It lasts only for so long because it's a scroll, but oh well. This entire room is filled with skeletons, as you can see. How about you? Eat this. I'm not gonna walk in there. Really use some better jewelry. You still don't have an amulet. Yeesh. I definitely am. Such a handy button to use. Also, I got some hidden in here. I forgot about that. That sound. There we go. That is all of them. Hunter's bow. That's not all of them. There's still more. Yeah, there's a whole bunch in this room. Hiddens. Skellies. As well as, as the bones of slain enemies. There we go. That's it? Yep. That's all of them. The firewall spell is really awesome in here. We're close. This is the last room. And there he goes. This. And also, ancient knowledge gained. We got Hydra Buddy who disappeared really quickly. That's on. There you go. The Guardian spell, which we can't really cast because it requires 50 mana. We got 36. But that's our reward the Hydra Guardian spell. And that is it for the Chamber of Bone. Quest is done. We're still a ways from level f uh, 16, excuse me. Alright, let's just leave. Let's get out of here. Yeesh. <clears throat> Back to level 6. And where's the... Is it that? Or is it that? It's probably over there, right? Let's go over there. Level 7. We're doing alright so far, but I'm really worried about the last few levels. Not worried, but... We need resistances. If we get resistances, we're okay, but we can always just start over and rush with our same levels and set up. If I was playing this on my own, even when I restart, I still clear out every single floor. Even though I'm like level 30 or something. 
Whoa. Ouch. Probably wouldn't help if I moved, didn't I? All right, here we go. Level seven. That was close. All right, we got some goat demons. Take them out. Got a goat shrine here. I don't normally use those. Basically those shrines, that's a lot of like gargoyles there. They give you random effects. Not sure if I'm gonna use them. Ah. Just went on shift. Ah, that's you. All of you. Got a unique creature. Nightwing in the cold. Ooh, we dropped jewelry. Amulet, finally. We got an amulet. Excellent. Let's go and save. I know you can wear those. And it'll still give you a benefit, but I like to wait to identify them. Still weighs level 16. Got some goat guys here. Not too tough. Right. I'm not going to use that. I think it's random. And I don't want to take the risk. Because some benefits aren't benefits. They're detractors. Hard leather armor, we don't need that. Hmm, should we go over there or over here? Let's go over here. Fight these gargoyles. Reminds me of the cartoon gargoyle back in the 90s. Yeesh, 90s was like 30 years ago. Like when I was in the 90s, 30 years ago was the 60s, and that felt far away. Now the 90s is basically my 60s, I guess. Book of the Blind. We're not going to read that yet. There's a reason for that. We'll come back there later. Take out these gargoyles. I'm pushing 40. I'm assuming the 87 is your, your birth year. We're about the same age. If so. <laughs> yeah, we're around the same age. Like, really close. Oh, did I word that in a way where it sounded like I was like 80 or something? I'm not 80 years old. I was like... Oh, how old was I when I played this? I think I was like 11 when this game came out. No, not that, not that old. I did watch one streamer who was... I think in his 60s? He was playing Ultima 7, The Black Gate. That was a long time ago, though. Let's, uh... I don't want to... Let's use the healing spell. But I don't think there's any streamers beyond that age. Either way... I really don't feel my age at all. I still feel like I'm in my 20s. I told some uh, nurse, nursing student, she was studying um, nursing, medical, whatever. 
and she asked me how old it was and I asked her how old do you think I am she said 26 27 like wow no I'm like this is like when I was 36 35 I'm not so I had like no lines on my head or anything my forehead and stuff all right that almost hit us that was close and these familiars it feels like I've been fighting these things uh, for the last three levels. They're always around, yeesh. Alright, I think we're ready to read that book. Because I wanted to clear this part before reading it. Let's go over there as quick as we can. Save before doing it. I can see what you see not. Vision milky, then eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone, whispering their hidden song. Then you see what cannot be. Shadows move where light should be. Out of darkness, out of mind, cast down into the halls of the blind. That's a nice poem. Very, very foreboding. Let's go back to town, though, because... I'm going to identify that amulet and talk to people about the Halls of the Blind quest. I think it's a pretty good piece of jewelry. You heard jewelry dropped when we read the book. I sense us. This is a place of great anguish and terror, and so serves its master well. Tread carefully, or you may yourself be staying much longer than you had anticipated. We don't want that. Buy this town portal scroll, and then off we go. We can probably just buy some mana potions. I think it's cheaper to do that versus buying town portal scrolls. All right, back to the town square. Let's talk to Hello, Kane. my friend. You'll recite an interesting rhyme written in a style that reminds me of other works. Let me think now. What was it? Darkness shrouds the hidden, eyes glowing unseen, with only the sounds of razor claws briefly scraping to torment those poor souls who have been made sightless for all eternity. The prison for those so damned is named the Halls of the Blind. Interesting. Okay, let's identify some stuff. Oh, we got a magical amulet. May as well equip that. Gives us some mana. Gives us 33 to magic. Let's talk to Farnham. I know he doesn't say anything important, but I'd like to talk to him. That's pretty funny, huh? Get it? Blind? Look here! <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. I hope so. What ails you, my friend? Pepin, do you have anything to say about this? This does seem familiar somehow. I seem to recall reading something very much like that poem while researching the history of demonic afflictions. It spoke of a place of great evil that... Wait, you're not going there, are you? Yes, keep going. That's all he has to say. That's too bad. They... Those are some annoying enemies, and yet... They're, uh... Greetings, good master. Yeah. Welcome to I never At least they look good. Poetry. Occasionally, I had calls to hire minstrels when the inn was doing well, but that seems like such a long time ago now. What? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, well, I suppose you could see what someone else knows. I could see what someone else knows. Let's talk to Jillian. Good day. If you have questions about blindness, you should talk to Pepin. I knew that you gave my grandmother a potion that helped clear her vision. So maybe he can help you, too. Well, we already talked to Pepin. Let's see what Wirt has to say. I'm almost tempted to just avoid him because he's just so far away. 
but we'll see what uh ah i can't sh i can't see what he has to buy if it's something i want to buy i lost all my gold i left all my gold over by the t uh portal acts of vigor again over here let's see am i selling you something no are you giving me money to tell you about this no are you now leaving and going to talk to the storyteller who lives for this kind of thing? Yes. All right. Worked. Yeesh. I don't think anybody misses him in the later games. Um, spoiler alert, he uh, passes away in Diablo 2 or 3 or whatever, I think 2. I bet the developers did that on purpose. In fact, Tristram itself... I know this is a spoiler for the later games. Tristram really gets a lot of crap thrust upon it in 2 and 3. <clears throat> oh, really? I remember... Um, I remember doing something to re refresh the stock. That was how I, was got, I got all those uh, upgrades for the Rogue last time I played this. All right, I think we're ready to go back now. Got it. Town portal. All right, let's go. Let's go to the Halls of the Blind. And you probably know what kind of creatures we're going to fight here. Like how we have a cross on our shield, like we're a Templar or something. Okay, that's one down. That's the best tier of... Hidden enemies, illusion weavers. They're pretty easy too. How much damage are we doing, anyways? 18 to 33? Nice. Whoa. Can't even hit all of a sudden. This is a cool quest. A lot of the quests in this game are, are cool. So much replayability to this, because then you get quests that you haven't seen, at least on your first few playthroughs. Alright. I forget, too, that you can attack the air, and if they're standing there, you still hit them. There we go. Optic Amulet. There you go. Quest over. And there we go. All right, we got the optic amulet. We'll identify that later because we're ready to explore the rest of this level. Because we're not done yet. Gotta go up here. Up, up, and away. As fast as we can. Um, close to level 16. What should we raise next? Strength, vitality, probably strength. Vitality. Okay, vitality then. Goats. Oh, thank. Thank the high heavens for this shield. Alright, nothing... I'm not gonna use that goat shrine there. I know you could probably save scum it, but... Yeah. Let's make things harder for ourselves. Level up! Ah, nice. Extra health. Extra... Stuff. Because we're a bit behind on vitality. Such a satisfying sound. 
Town Portal Scroll. Nice. Wish it was Identify Scroll, though. Go. Anything in here? No. Got some gargoyles. Quite a few gargoyles. Yeesh. The only thing about the shield is that it prevents you from attacking sometimes. If you're too good at blocking. Back here. What are you doing? Also, these gargoyles regenerate their health when they go back into stone form. I believe. Two more. You guys drop something cool for me. Magical longbow. Paladin was the first class I played in Diablo 2. I've always liked Paladins. We got another room here with a goat shrine. And of course, a lot of goats. gold. Give me the cash. Another chest over here. So basically four levels, every four levels. Um, the next level changes after that. Another town portal scroll, we'll take that. Excellent. Decapitated body in there. A lot of decapitated bodies. And these lightning bats. Um, let's go over here first. New Seagal emotes. I think I like to get the feeling like just to get the emotes. But you can't just turn off monetization. Or ads, rather. Oh, you didn't throw me off. I'm running out of stuff to talk about. After like four hours, my brain's like, okay, let's just repeat what you're saying. What you said when you started. Where I'm like, hey, bats. I'm gonna kill them. Oh, thanks. Oh, there's a lot of bats in here. Let's not... get surrounded. Alright. Let's heal. I was getting lazy since I got potions. And they all got decapitated. How do the bats do that? Let's see what kind of stuff they have. They got gold. A large axe. We don't need that. Another pile of gold and more gold. Just gold. I do like gold. Level 7. Right, we're almost done with this level, I believe. We got four goat creatures that will slay. Send them back to the... Send them back to hell. This guy's a beast to be able to fight like hundreds of enemies without getting tired. Another town portal scroll. We're full on scrolls. I think we're done with this level. I think it's time to go. Yep. Let's go back to the Hall of the Blind. Because that's where the 
Stairs leading down is the last level of the catacombs. Grab that potion of mana. And go down here. So far, so good. Still a ways to level 17. We'll probably raise vitality again, of which the warrior can reach 100 vitality, I believe. 250 strength, 50 magic, 60 dexterity, and 100 vitality is his potential. <clears throat> Alright, down to level 8. Let's explore more. Toad Demon. Not too strong. Requires three hits. Lots of... More bad creatures. That's wonderful. Surrounded. There we go. Go the bats. How about you? Filthy vermin. Ah, I remember this guy. Czar the Mad. I'm not going to bother going back to town to ask about him because if I remember correctly, I don't say anything about Zar the Mad. So we'll talk to him. See how he's doing. Hello. What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. There's nothing in here, man. Um, your tomes are empty. You just got a bookshelf with just a few books. You give us a stone curse magical book, which we can't use. Yet. What? Now, you won't mind if I uh, save and pillage your bookcase, would you? Uh, your curiosity will be the death of you. <laughs> Alright then, how about you? Now, these are one of the most annoying enemies in the game later on. Because, uh oh. Probably should have. Ah. I just gotta get him to a corner. He's also doing a lot of damage towards us. Let's get him to a corner here. Ah. I hope he doesn't run across any enemies. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's no good. Probably should have cleared the area first before I fought him because I forgot that he teleports around. Yeesh. Eating up all my healing items. He's taking a lot of damage, this guy. There we go. You're trapped. There we go. I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? The way he says that, so funny. And yeah, you fight groups of those guys later on. So that's gonna be fun. They'll have they won't have as much health as he does, but you know what I mean. Let's grab that book of healing here, and we'll use it. And we'll save. That's the toughest enemy in this level. 
I believe. Let's go this way. Try to get some more levels going on. That's a lot of toad demons. Holy deuce. At you. Be sure we don't get surrounded here. They do take a bit of damage. Makes sense because they're fat dudes. You saw these guys in the intro too. The overlords. I think one of them... The one punching. Ah. There we go. How much experience did I get us? Give us a little bit. There's some gold there that I almost missed. It's a lot of toad demons. Ah, come on, let me hit. Go. I am clicking like a madman. Click, 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 click. We need to buy some healing potions. Got a cloak. Wish it was like plate armor or something. And still more toad demons. That's quite a bit. Yeesh. Hello there. How you doing? I want to get surrounded. Really low on clean pots. Just three more to go. All right, manageable. We're gonna have to go back to town after this. Get some more potions and probably take a break too. It's been two hours again. Oops, didn't mean to pick that up. Let's throw that away. That should be all, right? If there's another one in here, I'm going to be really surprised. They had a mall here. Take that. I'm going to circle around here, see if there's any enemies lurking in this corner. Doesn't look like it. And we're going to go back to town. And I'm going to take a little break again. We're about five. So I'll see you later. Um, enjoy the music. Okay, I got another hour or so. 55 minutes. So let's go ahead and... Identify all our stuff. Take all these. Too much baggage. That is too much baggage, Ruben. Let's go ahead and learn some of these books. Well, some of these spells. Finally got the firewall spell. The town portal spell. Flash spell. We can't use the stone curse uh, spell book because we're not uh, efficient in magic. All right. Kane. Hello, my friend. Hello. Stay a while and listen. Heavy maw of slaying. Optic amulet, long bow, small shield, and a cloak. So the optic amulet, plus 20% light radius, resists lightning 20%, minus one damage from enemies, and plus five to magic. We'll equip this, which gives us a little bit of resistance to lightning. We're still rather low. That's okay. Well, it's not okay, but um, it'll have to do, I guess. Pepin. What ails you, my friend? Please heal me. Let's buy some healing potions. All of this. Should probably buy some more, but I'm kind of full right now. 
Let's go to Griswold and sell some stuff. Wow, what can I do for you? You can buy my stuff, Griswold. All that. Oh, plenty. The ruby. Not that. No. Ruby shield. Crimson cloak. I want to keep the amulet. Just in case. Wow. What can so I do what do you have? You? Sword of swiftness. Valiant mill is to build. We don't need that. Sword of bashing. Oh, that's one of those two-handers. The sword of bashing. Nothing else, though. We'll go to... We don't need to go to Adria because we got a lot of uh, town portal scrolls. So we can just go ahead and dump the rest. By the rest, I mean one. We'll drop our gold. All this. Goodbye. And put this here. Put this there. Or rather, drop that. He's here. And we are ready to go back into the catacombs. And explore more of it. Also, we have two town portal scrolls. Alright, last level. We'll make it to the caves, though. Well, a bit of a spoiler, but the next level is the caves. Like you saw in the Poison Well quest. Let's open this door. Ah, Toad Demons. Hello there. How about you? Five gold pieces, 61 gold pieces, two more toad demons. Back to the abyss with you. Got a large shield, which does six, gives us six armor, we don't need that. And an abandoned shrine. We've been finding the same shrines, haven't we? And what does that do again? It raises one of our stats. It raises dex. We already have max dex, so we don't need to use it. It's a thing. Let me double check. Yep, adds plus two to dex. Mana potion. Let's go over here. Death to the flying vermin. We got a little bit of resist lightning, so... Oh, what? Did I forget to... Oh, I forgot to repair my stuff, didn't I? I better unequip this. Oh, I die already. I need to go back to town and um, repair my stuff. Club. Anything else? Nope. Let's go back to town again real quick. I forgot to repair. Shoot. Put the deuce. Put this here. Put this here. Grab some gold. We're close to leveling up. Almost. Almost level 17. More vitality, I guess. <clears throat> Let's talk to Kane first. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Warriors Club. We don't need that. Well, what can I do for you? Sell that. Pair all this. There we go. Perfect. Let's go heal up by Pepin. Before we go back. What ails you, my friend? Here we go. Put this here. Put that there. And off we go. Alrighty then. Into the portal. got a book to read. In a minute, I'm going to clear the area first. Before we fill our head with occult knowledge. Okay, it's clear. Let's read. 
tale of the three. Glory and approbation to Diablo, Lord of Terror and leader of the three. My lord spoke to me of his two brothers, Mephisto and Baal, who were banished to this world long ago. My lord wishes to bide his time and harness his awesome power so that he may free his captive brothers from their tombs beneath the sands of the east. Once my lord releases his brothers, the Sin War will once again know the fury of the three. That don't sound good. That don't sound good at all. Ah, good old Bale. Ball. Reminds me of Ball, the Lord of Murder in Baldur's Gate. With an H, though. Ah, lightning. My one weakness, kind of. More lightning, what the deuce? Ah, it's you. Demon. More of these things. I'll be glad not to see these again. Okay, we need to, after this... Hopefully Grizzle to have some jewelry we can wear that will, you know, help us out with resistances. We can cast Mono Shield if we want to. I don't know if it's helpful for a warrior. Extra 42 points of health. Eh. Mono Shield is really handy for Rogue and definitely Sorcerer. Definitely a Sorcerer. Uh oh. Oh. Not good. Almost got surrounded here. Ah, that's you. That's one down. That's two down. Number three. Let's hope they drop some awesome jewelry for us. We really use resistances. I think we're almost about to level up too. More toad demons, wonderful. 67 to 80 hit points, that's a bunch. These guys are tanks. For our level at least. There we go, I probably didn't even need to heal. go nice um vitality strength vitality strength let's uh put it all into vitality boom and i guess strength would be next vitality is really nice to have oh we got a two-handed sword here we can't use it because it requires 65 strength we're a bit short that's too bad scroll of identify and a scroll of infravision which we don't need can't identify anything either. Let's book a town portal, which we can't use. We'll keep it, though. Um, yeah, 29 mana for a town portal. Pretty neat. Whoa. Another toad demon. Hello there. All the way to my sword. Another one. These things are really... They take a lot of damage. And they're not the worst enemies when it comes to that. Ooh. 
two more. There we go. Hmm. More of these flying vermin. We'll slay them. We don't need that scroll fireball. <clears throat> and more of these guys. Ah, actually, all of you. Yeesh. Okay, one down. We got some chainmail. Pretty cool. It probably won't be as good as our Arcane's Valor, though. Come on. Just want to kill this one. There we go. Okay, that's two more. Plus these vermin that are now dead. Nice. Scale mail. We'll take this. And we will identify it. Plus 60% to armor. Hmm. Ours is better, isn't it? Oops, didn't mean to click that. Clicked it again, too. It gives us better armor, but... Arcanes gives us... Other cool stuff, like extra health and all that. And we need that. So we'll sell that to Griswold back in... Tristram. It's a really cool name, Tristram. I forgot to mention, but... They named this game Diablo after the after Mount Diablo. Which is pretty interesting little tidbit there. Gloomy Shrine. What that does is... Oh, hello. I wonder if we can cheat a little bit with this. So what I'm going to do is... That. We're going to click this. Those who defend seldom attack. What that does is adds plus two to our armor class for chest, helmet, shield, but lowers uh, attack for weapons. But since I dropped my weapon, we still have our attack when it comes to it. So I cheated a little bit. Pretty cool. And we got a bit of armor uh, for our character. Lowered this one. We're not going to use that, of course. Death to you. Let's heal up. Another toad demon. Two of them. And two more. I think we're done with this level almost. Ah, ring. Lovely. We can't identify. Shoot. That stinks to high heaven. Town portal and mono shield. Darn it. Okay. Level uh, far away to 18. Shame. Anything in here? No. Nothing in here. I think we... To explore this part, and that should be it. Very, very slowly. With source where they can phase all over the place or teleport and whatnot. But we're playing a warrior, so we gotta walk everywhere. Okay, chest, nothing in there. No trap, no nothing. And we gotta go there. Leave no stone unturned for your first playthrough, at least for me. I like how all the enemies are still in a pile of dead bodies. Like, you're leaving carnage in your wake on your way to the Lord of Terror. On your way to find Prince Albrecht. Oh, a broad axe, we'll take that. We can sell it for some money. Oh, hello there. Ah, that's you. One at a time. Counting. Five. Four now.
Okay, three left. If I can actually attack in the direction. And that's it, right? Nice. Any treasure in here? Some gold? And nothing else. Let's go this way. I think when I played this years ago, one of the maps bugged out on me. I don't think I was able to progress or... Actually, I think it was the Arcane's Valor quest. Like something was bugged about it. One of the quests was bugged. Come on. There we go. Scroll of Guardian, we don't need that. We need to find a way out of here. Okay, we're good. Level 4,600, 460,000, excuse me. Now we are done with, I think, yeah, we're done with the uh, catacombs. So let's go, let's just go down to level nine. It's hot down here. <laughs> I bet. You're wearing armor and all that. Whoa. Oh, we got some archers. That's wonderful. Some horned demons as well. Night clan. At least they're easy. Better than those toad demons that take a million hits. Well, not a million, but you know what I mean. Come on, stop. Walking all over the place. Come on. This is the part where it's probably where I wish I was playing a rogue. I gotta loot this guy's body in a minute. Squad identify good. Of course I miss. Come on. Stop. Here. Get back here. Let's see if we can lure him over here. Almost. There we go. Alright, let's go this way. Still got 100,000 left for our next level. This game has- this area has great music too. Rest in peace, my friend. Breastplate! We'll grab that. Um... Put that book away, I guess. Well, we can carry it. Identify the breastplate. Plate of sorcery, okay. Well, that stinks, because I want to wear it, because it looks cool. I'll actually show you what it looks like. Looks like that. That's what plate mail armor for a plate guy looks like. Looks pretty cool, but uh, we're going to have to switch to arcane, because arcane's is better. Look, we're plate in hell. I can't reach that guy. Let's just leave. Hoping to find the stairway up to town. Oops. Oh, more archers. Hello there. These aren't even the annoying ones. back here. At least the horned demons don't take too much health. 
too many hits, I mean. Gold, thank you. I'll oh, get back here, goat man. There we go. Save? Now, I hope we find that mushroom quest. You know what I'm talking about. That goes down to level 10. Potion of healing, potion of rejuvenation. No wonder it's hot down here. There's lava. It'd be hot even if, even if you weren't wearing clothes. But the demons thrive in this environment. They bask in the heated sensation. As well as eating human flesh and all that fun stuff. Let's take out these acid uh, guys. Poison spitter. Nothing in those chests, that's too bad. Keep checking my experience too. We're getting plenty. Ah. Hello. I can't use this yet. Mushroom patch. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and return to town. Probably don't need this mono shield scroll. Well, let's grab that just in case to see if we can sell that for a lot of money or something. Yep. You saw that, right? Let's go back in. Up to town. That was twice I did that. <clears throat> Alright, let's go talk to, I think, either Adria or Pepin. I think Adria wants the black mushroom. What ails you, my friend? No, not Pepin. Well, while we're here, let's talk to... Kane. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and okay, listen. Ring of Radiance, I don't need that. Reminds me of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Whoa, what can I do for you? Yeah, you can have that ring, which I don't need, the two-handed sword. We're keeping the plate of sorcery. Now we have mail go away. Sell that. We'll repair all this. Whoa, what can I do Let's for you? Let's see what he has for sale. Both puncturing, silver flail, crimson mail. Don't need any of those. I suppose we can this and we can use that spell book. Yeah, that's what the armor looks like. Gothic plate. Looks really cool. Stone curse. Let's uh, equip the not the ring of power. Where's the There it is. I couldn't Almost didn't notice it. Right, here we go. Stone Curse. There we go. Put the magic stuff over here. That way I know. Um, this here. I guess. As well as this here. And there we go. So Stone Curse requires 60 mana. We can't even use that. We're low. Alright, let's go to Adria. I got about 30 minutes left anyways. I don't know if we're going to make it to hell. It's just kind of a funny statement to even say. I sense a soul in search of answers. Hmm... Okay, I think there's something else we have to do in regards to that. And I forget. I Can you buy this? Soul in search of answers. How much does this cost? 300? That's not that much. Um, Spy Town Portal Scroll. Alright, let's go back to the, the caves. I think you have to find a tome, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure. Also, let's grab this ring of power and put it, I don't know, let's put it over here. And we'll drop the rest of our gold over here. 
We will save and go back to where Wirt was. Passed by our friends. Well, not really our friends. Just the townsfolk. Tristan really got a lot of crap in the next game in Diablo 3. Nothing good happens to this town. At all. It's like one bad luck after the other. Alright, here we go. Down to caves. Alright, there it is. Let's go this way. Caves are interesting to explore. It's not like rooms anymore. It's just, well, caves. And barrels. And this is usually around the point where I realize I probably should have played a, a rogue. But something different. Not different, but most people play the warrior anyways when this game came out. Either warrior or sorcerer. I mean, I did. Have at you, all of you. I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. Flame wave. Night clan. Can I go, can I go this way? Nope. We are blocked. Blocked by lava. Let's go over here. Ah, come on. Go. Sometimes I run into you, which is really handy. And these aren't even the most annoying of ranged enemies. Those would be the succubuses. Them and uh, mages, as you saw in the last level. Nothing here. Oh, we already explored this part, didn't we? This is great music. I like that, uh, that instrument there. That's happening. That's being trailed away, the being hushed away. Okay. Yeah, there's a tome we gotta find. I believe. The mushroom quest is really good to do. Short battle bow, we'll take that. Scroll town portal, we'll take that, why not? Okay, anything in here? The answer is no. Nothing there. At all. That deathly moan. Oh, short bow. We'll take that. Pure. Nothing there. Nothing more, nothing more sadder than a chest with nothing in it. Oh, did he actually go through that door through the fence? That's weird. Alright. I think we missed the tome. It should be a tome. I'll keep my eye out. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, you're trapped. Composite bow, nothing... Nothing to pick up there. I think maybe it's near the mushroom patch. Let's go back. I keep this map open. It's a quest worth doing for sure. And you'll see. Ah, horn demon. Hello there. Ah, there it is. Fungal tome. Go 
grab that. That didn't do anything. Can't use it. So let's go back to town and uh, give it to somebody. Also, there's a potion of healing here. I'm gonna grab that and equip it. For our tool belt, tool belts. Just a bit over this way. We're almost there. Almost there, almost there. Conveniently, it's right there, the mushroom patch. All right. Off to Pepin, I believe. Or Adria. I cannot remember. But yeah, without, even without mods, I find this game, as is, fine. No Hellfire. I don't want to play Hellfire. Last time I played Hellfire, I basically just ignored the Hellfire stuff because I didn't uh, what ails you, my friend? really get into it. Okay, we got to talk to Adria after Hello, my friend. identify these. Stay a while and listen. All right, we got a bow of brilliance. We're going to keep that. That's magic. Well, what can I do for you? Let's go over here. Off our little stockpile of stuff. that right here. <clears throat> and off to Adria. I found a fungal tome. And oh, now I remember what we have to do. What do we have here? Interesting. It looks like a book of reagents. Keep your eyes open for a black mushroom. It should be fairly large and easy to identify. If you find it, bring it to me, won't you? We will. Let's go back to the caves. All the way back to where Wurt is nearby. Oh boy. Quite a walk. Yeesh. Well, just enjoy the music. I'm not going to say anything. Running out of words. I think you can listen to this over and over again and just not get bored. We've got every note burned in our memories. Well, now that's one big mushroom. <laughs> the way he says that. So funny. All right, back to Adria. The next, the next step, I should have left some enemies alive in that ninth level. I completely forgot. There's a reason for that. All right, Adria, I got your black mushroom, and it is big. What are you gonna do with it? Yes. This will be perfect for a brew that I am creating. By the way, the healer is looking for the brain of some demon or another so he can treat those who have been afflicted by their poisonous venom. I believe that he intends to make an elixir from it. If you help him find what he needs, please see if you can get a sample of the elixir for me. Well, do. I get a demon brain. That's why we needed to leave an enemy alive in level 9, but that's okay. We can go to level 10 and just kill a creature and then come back. We just gotta walk all the way back to the darn caves. Okay, we got plenty of town portal scrolls, I guess. We got two. We'll haul onto those. Also, do they say anything about the black Welcome mushroom? The the I'm a bit lazy side. to ask, so let's just go back to the caves. I don't think they say anything special anyways. We can always do it on the next playthrough. I really want to play a rogue after this. It's actually my favorite class in this game. And I'm not usually an archer kind of guy. Alright, let's go to the... Not that way. There's no bridge. The bridge is over here. Yeah, 
we slain every creature here. Every demon. Also, do we need to repair our stuff? I think we're okay. All right, level 10. We're well over halfway done with the game right now. If we can make it all the way to the end with our current build. Oh, where's the demon when you need him? Yeesh. There we go. Blood claws. More gargoyles. Reminds me of the cartoon back in the 90s. There we go. Brain. Looks like that. What if you got a good look? There we go. Let's go back to Pepin. We'll just use a town portal scroll. We can use some healing too. Cannot get enough of that music. It's so good. All right, Pepin, I got your demon brain. Excellent. This is just what I had in mind. I was able to finish the elixir without this, but it can't hurt to have this to study. Would you please carry this to the witch? I believe that she is expecting it. Will do. That is a spectral elixir. Looks like this. Just a little vial of red and a bit of yellow on top. And I guess blue in the middle. What and also, you, my friend? I forgot, but Pepin has nothing. Never mind. He doesn't get... Uh, he sells uh, stat boosting potions, permanent ones, eventually. But not now. I think it's when you reach hell. And yeah, there's hell in this game. Keep spoiling things. Sorry about that. I think people watching this have already seen or played Diablo, so... Let's just talk to Adria. And see if she needs this elixir for her studies. Here you go. What? Now you bring me that elixir from the healer? Oh, I was able to finish my brew without it. Why don't you just keep it? Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, go ahead and use it. So what it does is... Gives you plus three to each stat. That's a powerful potion. For reference, the permanent stat potion gives you plus five per potion. That's going to be very handy. Let's go ahead and save. <clears throat> and let's head back to the caves. And do a bit more slaying, demon slaying. And find some more creatures to uh, not creatures to slay. Find some more treasure to find. I already said creatures to slay. All right. Oh, they can open doors. Of course. Whoa. Lightning is not my friend in this playthrough. Mud Runner. They don't have much health. That's good. More gargoyles. Hmm. More gargoyles. Blood claws. Pretty cool name. Hey, get out of there. Come on. Falcon, just a regular one. We still haven't found any amulets and rings that give us resistances. That's too bad. Oh, speak of the devil. I hope that's... I hope that's, uh... If that's something, you know what. Ah, we leveled up. Excellent. Um, 113. Let's raise strength to 50 and vitality to 45. And we'll put one to magic. We're tracking almost halfway to maxing uh, vitality. That'll be a bit. Um, yeah. Okay. Spiked club. 
Can they drop anything better? Yeesh. Come on. Nothing here. Let's go up this way, though. Lots of lava here. Some gold. Also, did I drop that? Pick up that ring I did. Good. Scale mail. Any more? Ah, oh, there they are. I could have sworn I saw creatures up here. Demons. This game was really creepy back in the day. Yeesh. I mean, not so much now, but... I wish I had a 100% hit chance. You definitely get it with the rogue. So they have higher dexterity cap. Ah. At least I'm not fighting enemies that fire fireballs at me and lightning. A uh, regular helmet, I'll take that. Stone Curse Scroll. Potion of Mana, Rejuvenation, another Mana Potion. Stairway going down, level 11. Oops. What is that? I can't see from this distance. Oops, sorry about that. Well, a bit calm now, isn't it? around this corner? Nope. I don't think there's any quests on this level either. Staff of Holy Bill, I'll take that. We don't need it, but I'll take it. You can sell it for money. Hello, Mud Runner. Take this. Nothing there, of course. Barrels usually don't drop anything. Oh, come on. Yes, I do. Eesh. It's because we got a lot of potions. No wonder. We're almost done with this level. Looks like we're going to be stopping at level 11. And we'll continue back on Thursday. More gargoyles. Oh, some unique ones, I think. A unique one, I mean. Gold Blight of the Flame. Take him out, I guess. This is not a good spot to fight. So let's move a little bit back.
cool if I can kill one, at least. There we go. Let's take out this one. And this one. Get back here. Got a lot of health. How about you? Can't run away from me now. You're in a corner. There we go. Got a helmet. And was there anything else that dropped over here? I guess not, right? Um, that's this here. These potions here. And let's continue exploring. Gold, I'll take that. Regular mace with a, not a regular mace, but a magical one. So far, so good. Let's go this way, though. Not not that way. Like I said, I don't think there's any quests on this level. Just a lot of enemies to fight. Well, there you go. Scroll of Town Portal. We'll take that. A Potion of Healing. We'll take that. This chest. We'll open it. This Scroll of Town Portal. We'll take that. And I think we've cleared out this entire level. Almost. Let's go around here. I'd like to uncover the entire map. Make sure I don't miss any creatures. Here we go. That's it, right? Yep. We're done. Alright, let's get over to the northwest corner. <clears throat> kind of far away, isn't it? Feels like these caves are much bigger than the previous levels. Probably not. Probably just because it's more open. We're almost there. We'll probably not go down there. I'm probably going to go ahead and go back to town. Stock up. Identify our items and all that fun stuff. Still far away before level 19, but we're coming closer and closer to our goal. What ails you, my friend? I could use some healing. Thank you. Hello, my friend. Helmet. Stay a while and listen. Helmet power. Ah, crimson ring. Okay. That gives us fire resistance, helmet of vitality, soldier's maul of the stars. Uh, imagine if that was a sword, that'd be a pretty good sword. It's too bad it's a maul. Darn. Soldier's mace of vim, what the deuce? Maybe I can, is that better than our sword? No, it's not. It is not at all. And also, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and sell those, I guess. Hello, my Oops. friend. Stay a while and listen. No, not right now, Kane. Whoa, I gotta sell some stuff. I do for you? 
Doctor. Our okay, helmet's better. That's good. Wow. What can I do for you? So we'll sell this. We'll sell the Soldier's Mace of Vim. The Helm of Vim. And Soldier's Maw of the Stars. And we'll equip the... Ring of Crimson Fire. That lowers our health a little bit, but we need resistances. We'll keep the ring, though. We'll also see if Griswold has anything for us to buy after we repair our stuff. Sword of Accuracy, Crimson Mail, Valiant Shield of Accuracy. We can probably use that, can't we? Wow, what can I do for you? Let's go ahead and buy that. Costs a little bit. That's okay. That's a whoa. That might carry us for the rest of the game here. That's like the best shield model you can get, if it was just basic. That gives us a lot of armor. Alright. Perfect. 85% to hit chance, so we'll sell our other uh, shield. Oh, what can I do for you? Almost said sword. Let's go back to the portal. And also, we can probably go ahead and use uh, some potion upgrades. Let's put this here. This here. Boom. All right. Uh, we'll deal with those. I'll put this here. I'm going to sell these, these regular mana potions. Because we got enough money to go ahead and buy full healing potions if we want to. We'll also put the Ring of Vim over here. Drop this Town Portal Scroll here. Go to Adrian, sell that staff. Sense a soul in search of answers. Mana, staff, mana, 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 mana. There we go. Then we got clean inventory. And I think I'll sell the, uh, actually no, let's just go ahead and deal with these, uh, potion setup. This potion setup, I mean. Alright, so I'm going to stop right here, I'm going to save, and I got to go get something to eat, and I'm done for the night. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, let me be back on Thursday, 1 to, 1 to 6.30. So, have a good evening.